passion for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and format. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. 
good morning here at Hachanda. We have got a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day ahead. And we are starting with a fabulous show, a fabulous guest, a friend of mine, and an inspiration in the industry for so many years. Hazel, how are you? Morning. I'm great, thank you. You? I'm very good. Now, you were with Pink Frog uh -huh. to uh, come up with amazing card sizes. Yes. Uh, now, and amazing techniques as well. Yeah. Now, this hour, I believe you are going to show us a lot of black card it's, it's techniques. It's all about the black card for me on this show. Um, just showing you different ideas, giving you different bits of inspiration on things that you maybe hadn't thought of doing, but just stuff that works and... You know, it's just different, and that's yeah. what we want. Absolutely. And the best thing, I think this great show has got, uh, yeah, the black card, the true black from Pink Frog, but also the super smooth. Absolutely. So we've got, you'll notice across the counter that we've got some black and super smooth. They're kind of like taster kits for people out there that haven't tried our card before, and they might want some black, they want, might want some super smooth both of which you can do some amazing techniques on. So, but then also all the way down the counter and on the pole, we've got all the all the black card together. So it's your choice. You can pick in, dip in, choose what Fabulous. you fancy. And of course, we have got amazing adhesives as well, part of the Pink Frog family. Now, let's start with the first bundle that we have got. It's the 15 by 30. You are getting 50 sheets of, of course, the super smooth and 50 of the blood, true black. Now, Having this super smooth, is 300 GSM, yeah. can we throw a watercolour to it? We can do so many things. We have got boards, but if you like um, blending your inks, that's going to work. Absolutely. If you like stamping, that's going to work. If you like alcohol colouring, that will work. You can do your watercolour paintings. There's so much that you can chuck at it. Um, it's a good way you can do your construction. So I like to call it jack of all trades just yeah. because it does do pretty much everything now the card is unscored but yep. if we can score it simply by the middle is it around a six by six roughly yeah it would yeah. be 15 centimeters square which is roughly six inches but you will get an instruction sheet with that showing you tenfold so you haven't got to worry you'll have gate folds z folds half folds side gate folds, inverted steppers, you name it, it will be on that sheet for you to, oh, to refer back to. And of course then you can do all those different types yeah. of folds with them. A £14.99 is your price. You are getting 50 sheets of each, so 100 sheets in total. 743857 is your item number. Then we have got a different size, 15 by 42. Now, if we score it down the middle, what sort of size we will that get? That will be 21 centimetres by 15, so it's like you see five landscape Marvelous. um obviously it doesn't have to be landscape you can have it as a tent fold but yeah. that exact size you've got in your hand there again you're going to get your instruction sheet with 10 folds but excellent sample there just showing how you can emboss the cardstock add your different inks and just get some really nice techniques going and of course like you were saying the yeah. ten folds so you could have it vertically like this if you wanted yeah. to or we have got here a sample that is hiding away but there you, you go yeah there's that. your tent fold Absolutely. and that's got texture paste on it so lots of different mediums whether it's on the super smooth or the black they're going to work and it, they're still going to be rigid and, and stand and it, it being 280 gsm also it is construction work. Absolutely. I mean, you can see around you Absolutely. all of the frames that I've made. I, mean, I love making frames. Look at this. Uh, have you used the 15 by 42? Right? I yes. have used a mix. So there's two, probably between the 15 by 30s and the 15 by 42s on that. And then I've probably got um, oh, one of the 12 by 12s on the back. Okay. But I, I like this one because it's a frame within a frame. I've got heat embossing on there. I've got different inks chucked at it. Um, and I am going to demonstrate how I've made the inside of that on the 11 o'clock show. So if you're interested, you need to tune in to that one. Fabulous. Uh, now, if you want to go with the, for the 15 by 42, you're getting 25 sheets of each. So 15 total, 771-617. It's because you're 1149. This could be the first trial size. And you still have got like 50 cards in there to Absolutely, create. Absolutely, yeah. So it's plenty. And yeah. mini albums as well, memory books. Absolutely. That, that little... Um, technique book that yes. you showed that's all from it's 15 by 42s but then
then I use um, a 15 by 30 yeah. is the wrap that comes around. Oh, yeah. So absolutely. just mess with the sizes, but it gives me just the right depth and it, it sits does. perfectly. Absolutely. So. Now, of course, we have got also, you might want to add A3 and A4. We have got those ones as well. So in there, you are getting 40 of the A3 and 80 of the A4. So you are getting in total, let me see, 120? No, no, yeah, 120. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I panicked then because I, I was zoned out and I I thought she was going to ask me the same. No, no, no. I, I was asking see. the voice in my head. I mean, she's, she's my maths brain okay. all the time. I right. wish she was all the time in my life. Uh, right. Um, now, w why is it important to have the largest size as well? Again, they're going to work in with your frame. So that will be the back, and you can make yourself a nice A3 frame using two 15 by 30s and two 15 by 42s. But other than that as well, you can make your pizza boxes, you can make your bags, there's notebook bags. So any instruction set that we do that corresponds with the size that you're buying, you're going to get that free in with your order. Fabulous. Uh, now, if you want it, you can have it at 4588. Zero six. Sorry, I kind of just suddenly the numbers kind of disappear a little bit. In my, I know. Uh, Thirty-two pounds and ninety-eight pence is your price uh, for the uh, set of forty A three and eighty uh, of the A four. You are getting half of them in white and half of them in, in black. black. Yeah. So you are getting yeah. equal amount of black and white. And then of course we have got the is it a twelve by a uh, super smooth uh, option as well. Here we have got the bundle. Uh, you can see them. Now, this is, we are, yeah. Go now, I've got to get mine because it does come everywhere with me. I have to show you. Yes. It comes in a ream box. It's so handy to have on your desk and you just dip in. I've just topped mine up because it was getting a bit low. But A5 and A6, you, you always just dip in, whether you're doing a little inky background, whether you're stamping, but it's just perfect. And they're so popular. Um, again, that's why we've bought it back. And at this price... It's fabulous, it isn't is. it? And we always talk, I mean, I've heard uh, Hazel and myself about how handy it is to have those smaller sizes. It's like almost we we want to try a technique. You just grab them. Exactly. And you don't feel like you're chopping into yeah. the good, you know. If you had to chop into an A4, it would feel like the rest of that piece of A4 would go into a drawer and not be used. So what yeah. we're trying to do is get so that whatever you want to make, you've got that size, Absolutely. whether it's a 10 and a half by 30, yeah. our new size, or A4. And it's, it's, isn't it funny, because I, you know, I'm a, we are experienced crafters, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, but also there is something that having pre-cut makes life so much easier. A scoring, I enjoy a scoring. I do too. But cutting always is so much you know, kind of, it's so committal. It you doesn't know, matter to... what tool you've got. Obviously, if you if you put it in one key or you don't hold it down, it's you're not going to get straight cut. So, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Now, getting them all in here, it makes a lot of sense. You are getting 160 A5 and 320 <laughs> A6. It's a massive amount of car stock. But just, you are just paying £13.98 for a super smooth car. 6980005 is your item number and then we have got the true black in a5 size and it, you know can you can we talk about how important it is to have true black cards true black with it being acid and lignin free as well it's a great weight it scores beautifully you can do your construction you could just score that one in half and make a little a6 card me personally i have been doing it for all my little techniques yeah. and it's gone into that book so it's literally Pick up a sheet of card, do my technique, stick it in the book. It, it's the perfect size to work with your 15 by 42s because that's your matte and layer. It's yeah. going to go straight on. So it kind of all works. It does. Yeah. And you mentioned, of course, being acid free, acid and lignin free mm -hmm. for memory albums to matte and layer yeah. the pictures as Definitely. well. Definitely, yeah. So. Yeah, we have got a sample that we will show yeah, you in yeah. a second. 939972 is your item number. £10.99 pence for 80 sheets of A5 True Black. But on the website, you will find lots more, including adhesive and every single bundle. Look at those five star reviews and look at all the different options. If you wanted to go for 12 by 12 in the Super Smooth and the, uh, yeah, of course, the True Black, we have got those options. £15.49 pence gives you 25 sheets of each of 50 in total. Um, and especially if you are doing memory albums, especially with a uh, graphic 45, that true black works so well. Now, we do also have got uh, the reef, oh, well, 
the amazing EVA glue, which I have been uh, using lately, and I'm really massive fun. Uh, five star reviews for those ones, and the non clunging glue bottles as well. They are phenomenal. And I'm really excited to see that we have got on the show the Colal 3D glue gel. Uh, you're getting two of them, 80 ml in each, 10.98 is your price. So grab, you know, grab your essentials as well as that removable scotch tape. It is a phenomenal, as well as we do have got glitter card, non shared in that gorgeous black and silver. Mm -hmm. Now this is, it's, I just want to dress like this. It's gorgeous. So you can die cut that, you can score it. You can emboss it. You can add your gilding waxes to it. It looks yeah. amazing. On the silver, you can put alcohol inks in it if you wish. Oh, Absolutely stunning results, yeah. So it's two items that work together, which will work with black card and white card. Um, it it the, just needed to be. Uh, the one thing I love about this, I was just kind of was showing how there is absolutely non shred yeah. but also is not completely encapsulated in the sense that you have got a film over it. Yes, no, that is, it's it's kind of a beautiful, yes, it's it almost like a, a velvety of, yes. kind of feel, isn't it? It does yeah. have a texture to yeah. it, and it's kind of a matte glitter in yeah. the sense that it's still very super sparkly, but it's kind of a sophisticated sparkle. If you want that £14.99, you are getting 10 sheets of each, so 20 in total, 677-863 is your item number. Right, um, Hazel, take it away. <laughs> okay, so I've just been, whilst you've been talking, in, crumpling up a piece of the A5 True Black um, and the reason I'm crumpling it up is because one of my most favorite techniques to do on the black card is put gilding wax on. Okay. So I'm just going to take some gilding wax. I've got a couple of three colours um, and I've scrumpled that up. Let's move that out so I don't want to get gilding wax on it. Um, and then we're just going to come in. Now the important thing yeah. is always take off the excess on your gilding wax okay. because you can add to it but you can't take it away once you put, put now, a bit you on. You haven't wet the cards or anything No, like this is just direct onto the card. Yeah. So I always go down with one colour, give it a good coating around to pick out all of those lines and... Mm -hmm. If when I've put the first colour on, I think, oh, I want a bit more, then I can I can add that too. So now I'm going into more of um, a coppery gold. Yeah. It's quite similar to the Empire gold, actually, but it's just to show you the technique that you can get. And then we'll go into a bit of silver. And again, just make sure you take off, especially the tip of your finger. Yeah. Nice, soft. But when you put this silver on, that just gives you that highlight. And then, of course, you can buff that up. Yeah. But that's just bringing out all of that texture. Oh. Give that a nice rub over. And then look, look at, that. at that. And you can still see the black coming exactly. through. Exactly. So that would make an excellent background to start yeah. any, any of your mixed media projects. You could be die cutting in a stark black and popping it on the top oh, of yeah. there. Um, don't think that you can only put your gilding wax on there though if we grab another piece and i won't put so many crumples in this one i like to use my, my thumbs together just to break down the fibers but you can hear the quality of the card right so this time i actually use um oxides a very very lot um i don't think there's ever anything that i make that hasn't got some oxides on so if i was to grab I'm just going to rub that over to get some ink down. And at the minute you think, ooh, yellow. But there's a method. Let's just okay. now rub that in a bit to tone it down. I mean, like, good catch. <laughs> That's one colour. Maybe come in with some blue now. And again, I'll just drag the pad over just to get it... I'm getting more ink on at a quicker stage that way. You can come on if you um, like your brushes now and just gently rub that in and it gives a really kind of... I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Now, so. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah, you're bringing your, your dyes into it and popping that on there. But it just gives a really lovely effect. You could then mix in if you wanted to. Let's just put a few more creases in. Yeah. Because we've got that lovely colour in the background, maybe I want to add just a little bit oh. of wax across there just to bring out certain areas. Oh, I like that. Just a few. And then we'll buff that up. 
And again, would you have thought that yes. that started off a piece of black card? Now, all the techniques that you do on your super smooth, I will bring my mat back up now, you can then bring in and do on your black card. So if we start off with a light colour, let's say some wild honey, yeah. and we spritz down some water, Okay. And then we'll just start and do an inky pickup. So oh, because you're using oxides, which are pigments, so they will have that opacity. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So Look at that. It's bringing up, and obviously when it's wet, it's going to be um, a lot more vibrant. So. Uh oh, we have got, we haven't got power, uh, Ben. I think I have. We can, can we get some power here? <laughs> Plug was plugged in. Uh, oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. It was, it's not but bad. it wasn't it's clicked down. No, no, Sorry. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because um, I still, after, even after 18 years of living in the UK, I'm not used to having to turn on every switch. Yeah. Because in Spain, you don't have switch. Like all the um, plugs are always live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Um, uh, right, we do have got another True Black collection uh, that we haven't mentioned and we want to mention is the collection of 150 sheets uh, sorted cards. Now what do we get here in um, Hazel? Because we are getting, is it a 15 by 4, 30, yeah, uh, so 12 this by 12? Is, this is a mix, okay, so it, it's like a taster of a lot of the sizes we do. So you've got 15 by 30, you've got 15 by 42, I think you've got 20 by 40 in that yep. one. You've then got your 12 by 12. Yes. And your A3. A3. There it goes across the bottom there. Yeah. So um, then you've got um, your Pillars of Light Miri as a kind mm. of bonus in there. Oh, but a really, really good set. And so you'd get all your instructions. So your 20 by 40, 15 by 42, your 15 by 30, you'd get your frames, you'd get your bags, your notebook bag, your little hang, handbag style. So it's a complete kit, really. Absolutely, and you are getting it uh, for £45 pounds or £49. Pounds. Maybe you want to do all the techniques that Hazel is showing this hour, but have them in all those different sizes. 388985 is your item number. Right. So I just whipped some red on there, oh. then a barn door, and you can already see that this is coming together. So we'll just give that another little bit of heat, and then we'll pop some of the salty ocean down. Yep. It is important to dry it in between each layer, otherwise you will get it a bit muddy. But um, I might cheat slightly just to Darling, hurry it yeah. a little bit for you. Because you know I'm not the most patient. It <laughs> <laughs> looks like a Chinese painting or something yeah. like that. It's just that's kind of amazing. But then when you've got this background, if you then um, do some heat embossing in black or white over the top, it looks absolutely amazing. So, for instance, I'm going to stick there. If you know that little technique book that I've got that you held up, yes. if you look at the front page of that, absolutely, that is actually what we're doing there. We've got oh, the inky, inky pickup in the background. There you go. Yeah. And then I've started to stamp on it with, with use some paint, with use some white ink. We've got heat embossing, but it just works really, really well. And having that white liner around there just pops mm -hmm. that image then off of the page. Oh, yeah. Right, so there we go. That is now. Always dry the back and it, it kind of flattens your card back down. So if we bring that one to you. But oh, look wow. at the effects that you, you get in there. Yeah. Um, if I wanted to now, how about I run that through an embossing folder? Let's just choose one. You see, I'm no good with choices. Don't give yourself a choice. Oh, Hazel. it looks outside. It reminds me. It's funny because I can see now the undersea, like kind of the uh, corals, uh, you know, coral reefs in here. I also think it's like very much, um, you know, the American painters from the 1950s, Jackson mm -hmm. Pollock and uh, Jasper Jones, that sort of expressionism. Uh, so it's funny how just with a little bit of inks, we can just throw them and create yeah. those amazing artistic effects. Uh, and so you now are embossing it. I'm embossing it to give it some texture. And then we can do something over the top. So we've got that nice color in the background. Yeah. Let's have a little look. You see, it's not the deepest of embossed, but we'll go with it. Um, at that stage, you can't really see no. the emboss 
until you turn it over. Oh, I see. So yeah. now I've got choices. I could bring in my gesso. I could bring in my gilding wax. And I think for this one, I will just bring in a bit of gilding wax yeah. just to show you um, that it's there, basically. <laughs> but... Um, and of course, if you wanted gesso, we do have a set of three gesso primers on the show as well. So if I just to... do, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do a little bit with the gilding wax. Yes. And then I'll put a little bit with gesso on there just to show you. But you can see now how that just, you don't oh, lose the colours, yeah. but that gold just kind of enhances what we've got there. Absolutely. If we now take that away, because I'm going to get messy. Oh, gesso. Good. Okay. A couple of ways you can do it. You can apply it with a pad. But my most favourite, okay. look at that, I'm being ever so good. Yeah, that is you are. proper, oh, proper good, yeah. So I would then brayer that down and come on. Oh, And wow. that's going to give you instantly, that's very mixed media. It kind of activates with the inks a little bit, yeah. but look how different a look that is. Yeah, and you still can see a little bit of yellow exactly. and red, and all those colours. And, and this is what we want, isn't it? The card that can take all those layers of water exactly, and ink yeah. and paint. It's nice to have the versatility without having 15 different types of card, because that one takes this, that one takes that. Yeah. And, and also for me, uh, as after that, I have got, you know, I do have got hundreds and hundreds of different types of cards. The reason why I tend to go more to Pink Frog Crafts cards is because I know what it does. Exactly. All the time. Yes. I know the reason. So and it's not like grabbing a piece of card and thinking, oh, where did I get it? Is it going to do the full bleaching? Is it going to take the gesso? Is it going to... I know the that confidence. Exactly. because we've trialed it all for you and exactly. you know it's 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 going to do what it says it does. Absolutely. Right. Uh, now, well, um, Hazel sets up for the next a set of demos. I mean, as you see, inspirational. I love it because I always get so, you know, excited about uh, the Hazel's demos and then I want to go home and, and you know, you know, just have a go with them. Now, let's start with a 15 by 30 uh, set of cards. Now, we have got in here the Super Smooth and, and the True Black. You are getting 15. 50 shades of each uh, uh, color. So you are getting 100 in total. 15 by 30 is a size card that creates, if you fold it in half, you have got, of course, the kind of almost six by six card. It's not just six by six because, of course, that is, it's kind of just under of it. But it will fit on a six by six envelope. Now, if you want, for instance, to create a, you know, a bigger kind of fold in Z fold and things like that, it will fit on an a, a six a six envelope. The reason is that you are also getting, because it's a score card, but you are getting the instructions on how to score, where to score, up to 14, 10 different kind of folding cards. But that's not all what you can do. You can use that card to create, and by the way, we, these ones are Hazel's uh, girls, aren't they? They are. Look at that. So <laughs> then again, using true black cards means that it's because it's acid free and lignin free. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I love creating stuff like that. We've made loads of presents and different bits for Christmas with, with it's just black card stock. We've die cut it. We've used the Britannia dies to build up our flowers. That's and by putting that piece of acetate in there, it just protects the it picture. Does. Yeah, absolutely. There is one further down that hasn't got a picture in it yet. Um, it was supposed to because I did give it to my daughter for yeah. her. I'll hold it up okay. for her 21st. Um, so there's meant to be a picture in here, but she hasn't got around to doing it yet. But, you know, the black there, it just really stands out. But all the detail that you've got in your flowers mm -hmm. um, and, and the cardstock and you've got and your that, gilding wax. That's, that's a good point that, you know, you have got there the 15 by 30, which means that it's a very good size. If you have got an A5 die cutting machine, yes. that's the size that Absolutely. you can die cut it yes. really straight yes. away. You don't have to trim it down. 290 GSM, it still will die cut beautifully. 14 pounds and 99 pence for a set of 50 of each, so 100 in total of the 15 by 30. 743857. Then we have got the 15 by 42, which is the size that if you scroll down the middle, you will get an A5 folded card, which will fit on a C5 envelope. But also there are so many more folds. Those instructions for all those different folds are included in this bundle. You are getting 25 sheets of each. You can use it, score it in the middle, and then just use it as a tent fold. So you have got that portrait um, kind of configuration or, you know, and or you can use it as a landscape in here, which is a phenomenal size. 
I use this size all the time to create mini albums uh, or, or cards as well because it creates the ones that you can create something like these and it's, it's really significant because then you have got the concertina that comes out like this and so you have got a lot of space for to put pictures as well i love how it closes and i love how you can do things like that so you can be super creative where you are putting the score lines now if you want to go for this bundle you are getting 50 she uh, 50 sheets in total 25 of the super smooth 25 of the true black 771617 is your item number then we have got the a4 and a3 now this is the way that you can have an a4 for the back of it or an A3 depending on the size and then of course you can use different uh, kind of configurations on how to score the card this is one of the reasons why it is it's worth buying a separate separate bundles or several ones of them to have the different sizes to have everything pre-cut and then you just have to score it whatever you wanted if you want to go for this bundle well you have got 40 sheets of a3 80 sheets of a4 for 32 pounds and 98 pence 120 sheets in total 458806 is your item number so you will get 20 a3 of the white 20 or the super smooth 20 of the true black and so on right moving on to Super Smith. Oh, it's just such a disappointment when I have to go down. All uh, right, uh, then we have got here the Super Smith. This one is a bundle where you are getting 160 A5 and 320 A6. Now you have got a lovely, superb uh, saving of eight pounds. You're just paying 13 pounds and 98 pence. We love as crafters to, to experiment with different techniques. So just grab it. When you have to create a topper, this is where I, re I would reach for. It has got the A5, A6 and the A5. 698-005 is your item number. 20% already gone. And remember, the A5, if you score it down the middle, it's an A6 folded card, which means that it's that sort of gorgeous sort of size, a smaller one, but not too small, so you can put still a lot of different uh, elements into it. Right, Hazel, you are ready to demonstrate with this bundle. Okay, I yeah, I just want to do a kind of recap over the Super Smooth and just show you how good um, it reacts with the ink and the water. So I've just taken one of the stamps from our most recent stamp set. This is our chrysanthemum one. And I'm just going to ink that up in um, walnut stain. Give that a nice firm press. Okay, yeah. And then I'm just going to add, I'll just move that to the side. And we're just going to spritz some water down so that that ink starts to bleed out for us. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then we can come in and we can dry that. But again, this looks excellent. I've got loads and loads of different um, cards in a box here that I demoed on the last um, one day special that we did. Um, yeah. We did have some fun creating. It can take acrylic paints, it can take your inks. You can scrumple it up, you can emboss it. Let's just finish that off there. I'm just gonna cheat slightly. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll pop that back in the platform. And what we're going to do, I'm actually going to do a little bit of um, grey. So you haven't moved the stamp. I haven't, haven't moved seen. the stamp. Yeah. Um, and I was going to paint and um, ink it back up in the brown, but I'm going to do grey because I do want to go in with a water brush then and start and do a few little bits to the petals. So just by putting that, it kind of looks a very dark chocolate brown now. But what this allows me to do... Love that. I really, is, really love that. Where is my water brush? Here we and go. it shows as well that, you know, the inks will blend and bleed so well onto the super smooth. Of course they will, yeah. So you can kind of come in now and you can add some flicks of the, the darker, yeah. the yeah. chocolate, just down to add a little bit of detail. So even though that card has been wet, I'm coming in again and wetting it with my water brush. Mm -hmm. It's taking that absolutely fine. You can do as much or as little as you like here. I'm just putting a few flicks in so that you can see um, mm -hmm. the idea there. And but if you wanted to go over that and paint that whole petal in, for instance, you can. You can. It's going to take it. And, and I'm going to work out them lines exactly. and uh, get a really nice effect. Is that the chrysanthemum uh, stand that you launched last week? It is, yeah. It has been so popular. 
Look at the way that that's worked out now, look. I love it. And I haven't got any bobbling, so you can really work and play with it. If I dip into my box again, we'll do one more, and I've got a, um, another demo coming up as well. But if we scrumple that up, and we do the same technique that we did on the black, say, for instance, um, let's just pop some... Oh, no, I want to do brown. Yeah. And that chrysanthemum image, um, well, it was very, very, very busy when you launched it. You sold out, didn't it? But it's back on extended, so it will be dispatched from the 16th of February. But look at it, it's stunning. This one is the one that our common, very good friend of ours, Julie, did order it, didn't she? She did order <laughs> it, like, yes. Yeah. The first she thing she said, oh, wow, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember because, of course, she designs her own little stamps. But yeah, but this is the beauty it. of it, you know. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that kind of look there. And then if we have a little bit of the darker, just to yeah. pop over there to pick that up. Yeah. I'm just being soft um, with that. Um, and then we'll just, I'm mixing all my brushes up. I'm being ever so naughty. Oh. So that gives you that kind of old antiquey mm -hmm. look so these two would actually work quite well together on a card so whether you like um it basically if you tie in the techniques from okay. your super wow. smooth you can very easily do them yeah. onto i mean look at that the depth that you get in there that's just a 3d embossing folder Anna. that's a 2d embossing folder but inking down first and then yeah. embossing that over that. there's a crumply one there's so many. Look, we've just done that. We've love stamped that. and spritzed. That one's a lovely one. <gasps> Galaxy Ooh, one. Oh, I love that. Yeah. With a moon. How are we doing? That. I mean, I can probably show you how to do that one. But look at these. You've got paints on there. You're making faux um, boarding. You've got brushes. How effective do they look? Yeah. That's paints again. This is white gesso on top of super smooth. Yeah. It gives you more open time and, and changes what you can do massively. Ecoline pens, you've got alcohol pens, you've got pencils. You wow. can blend, you can faux bleach. There's a nice scrumpled one. That is with um, paint. But you see, once you sit there and play, you yeah. can do so, so much. I, uh are you going to do the moon and Would you like me to? Well, we will. I mean, I, I have to say, it's, the voice in my ears is like, we would love it. OK, <laughs> right. So. Right. Uh, well, well you pre we said for that, I just want to show you the, we want to show you the other items we have got on the show, including, of course, uh, this bundle, which has got the A5 and A6 uh, beautiful. Oh, no, actually, the rose stamp. Um, yeah, all right. So this one is the A5 Rose Stamp uh, and the is A5, A4 Super Smooth 300 GSM, of course, and the watercolour in that, which, of course, that has got a slightly different texture to it, so it, it has got other op uh, options as well of technique-wise. Uh, you are getting uh, five sheets of each card, so £14.95 is your price, £3.25 uh, uh, saving in there. Right. Then we have got the texture stamp next, a uh, fabulous, fabulous set of stamps, four of them, uh, A4 Super Smooth and watercolour cards, five sheets of each. Uh, again, you have got a £3.25 saving. Uh, then you, you are paying Spain £14.95. Then we have got the Daisy stamp set as well, which are very popular with that special friend sentiment in there. Here you are getting A, A4 Super Smooth and A4 watercolour uh, cards. You're getting five sheets of each. Uh, again, you have got a three pounds and twenty-five pence saving. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. You is what you are paying. Then we have got uh, flowers and verses uh, here now. Uh, now this set will come as well with five of the super smooth, five of the watercolor, with this glorious flowers there. Again, a three pounds twenty-five saving. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence is what you are paying sunflower wishes we have got next 
Uh, now it does sunflower wishes uh, again with this five super smooth and five watercolor. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence is your item number. You can see each of them have got different item numbers. So of course, have a look at the website, uh, or you know, just kind of a look at the sunflowers there in there. Uh, now, if you wanted to go for the decorative sunflowers, that's a different set. You are getting five A4 super smooth and five watercolor again. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence with that saving. Uh, Three pounds and twenty-five pence saving. Now the chrysanthemum is really, really busy. Remember, it comes on it. On, you are having, um, you know, that glorious uh, A5 photopolymer stand side with all the sentiments as well. It will be dispatched from the 16th of February. If you want it, 165554 is your item number. But I would be quick to check out those baskets because we are very busy for it. Now, we also have got Super Smooth, I believe, uh, in a bundle that, of course, it, it gets you A5 and A, A6. Now, 160 sheets of A5 and 320 uh, sheets of the A6. 13 pounds and 98 pence is your price. You are saving eight pounds. Do check out your baskets, very busy for this one. And heading back to Hazel, because you are gonna show us the galaxy. I am indeed. So whilst you were talking, I just went ahead and all I've done is blended three colors onto my background. Really quite messy. I haven't tried to um, blend them together and then just spritz some water over the top. So from there, you'll need your black soot. And what we're going to do is just pop some ink onto a stamp block. If you haven't got a stamp block, you could use a piece of acetate. Spritz some water on it, and then you're just going to start oh. and tap this ink over. And then just it keep... It looks like, um, what do you call it? Um, oh, uh, wax. The encaustic um, uh, uh, wax. It just looks amazing, it doesn't does. it? <laughs> Right, so you're going to do that two or three times and you're going to need to dry in between. I'm just going to get a bit in that centre. And you don't want to cover all of the um, background up. The reason you want to do it two or three times is because you want to intensify that black and layer it up there. So in true hazel style, we're going to cheat a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll proceed, put another layer. So each time just put a spritz of water on. And then when you come in for the second go, look, that looks a bit more um, intense. And you just keep going. Okay. Let's see how we go with two layers. I would normally do two, uh, three. Yeah. But what we'll do, we'll do two, and then I'll use some of my Bursa Claire to right. go around the yeah. edge. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring in our gesso for our um, moon. Because the gesso is a fantastic value for the three tubes. Right. So can you see, if I bring that next to it, look, we're, we're heading that way. Oh, okay. I see, yeah. And yeah. then on top of that, I just need... This is such a good technique. I remember that you can re-watch this show after 60 days uh, on the website hotchanda.com forward slash rewind and you can redo re what Hazel is doing with the super smooth cards that you, if you check out your baskets, you can have as well. Okay, a tiny bit of gesso. Mm -hmm. Okay. That um, might be a little bit hard, but we'll get, we'll get by. So we're just going to... You don't want lots, but you just want to pound this gesso on. It will react slightly. But that's kind of with the texture the of the and moon. Exactly. And it just gives a really lovely. Now, you could just leave that at that, but I I like to use a little bit of Versafine now. Okay. Just to define around the edge. And the reason I go for Versafine is because it's... Um, yeah. It's just a stronger, yeah. a, a deeper black. So yeah. if we go like that and we put Absolutely. a little bit of... Just uh, a shading. We'll yeah. go at the bottom. And and you have die-cut the stencil out of the mylar sheets. Absolutely. I've made my own, yeah. And I've got a little box, little pizza box that I keep them all in. Yeah. Now look, the difference by just popping that little bit of dark at the bottom there and I like all of the little crater type yeah. bits so you can blend around the outside um, in the Versa 
just to deepen that up. And then with my gesso that I've got left, if I just spritz a bit of water in, and my brush isn't clean, of course it wouldn't be, would it? <laughs> Pop a few splats. Oh, yeah, with the gesso. Oh. I have to put a bit more gesso. I love that, Adam. Um, yeah, go. by the way, the Myla, uh, we have it on the show as well. So you can, uh, so it's 350 micron and you are getting six sheets of the 12 by 12. So if you do them like yours that are six by six, we would get uh, four, so um, is 24. it 40, yeah, 48? 24. 6, 12, 18, 20. How many sheets is there? Uh, sorry, 6, 6, 6, yeah, 24. Right, 4, 24. Yeah, sorry, I was kind of thinking I 12 I had to question me, me adding up then. Yeah, yeah no, and no, no, I was no, saying no, 6 no. is not, it's 4. It's just me and my You mom. would be able to make 24 stencils. That's 50p each one. Wow. Uh, and also, because it's, it's that thick um, mylar, it means that, well, that great quality mylar. Exactly. It means that it will last, you know, as long as you look of after course, them. Of course, it's three, yeah, 350 micron. It is going to last you. Fabulous. Eleven ninety nine is your price, uh, and you can be able to die cut it with open dies as well as uh, the deep dish ones. Three nine four two zero four is your item number. Right. Okay, so that just gives us then our kind of galactical wow, I love that. Um, background, and that that is that is all I did there. But wow. a quick, easy technique, and you know. I'd be interested to see that reversed on black. Yeah. Start off with black card, put your bits on, do your moon and your splats. Absolutely. That would look amazing. Absolutely. Now, what I want to show you now, am I okay to go Yes, absolutely, into... absolutely. We have got about 14 minutes. So we right, have got okay, that should be enough. That. So um, I want to use the black card it, for construction. I also want to use it to make a background like this. I've made that one ahead, but it is literally just the true black card, but I'm using gesso and I'm using gilding wax. So I just want to quickly show you how I got to that stage. Yeah. So I started off with a piece of card and then I grabbed some gesso, a little bit on my mat. Yeah. And then I brayed that onto. So on here, all I've done is got one of my stencils yeah. and I've put some texture paste through but I added some black gesso in just so that I didn't have to then um, paint all yeah. of the card um, and I'm just going to bray this over and um, pushing quite hard because I want to get the paint in the background and going from different angles so that gave me my kind of um, what's the word I knew I would abstracty kind of background and yeah. um, once I've got one layer on I would pop another to really brighten this up. So I've gone a lot lighter now and I'm yeah. just catching my Harlequins. Harlequins? They are Harlequins, uh, yeah, aren't they? I think yeah, they are. I mean... So that gives a really nice, interesting um, background. So you would then go in and blast that. I'm just going to do this centre bit for you because it's. I really want to get to the other bit to show you because I'm excited. <laughs> and then um, take off that excess and just add in a little bit of wax into the background. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to pop gilding wax onto my flowers. So can you see how that just shines? Yeah. It's just giving it a hint around here. Yeah. So with that in mind... I had a little message to my good friend Anita, oh. one of the design girls, and I said, please will you make me a nice big box of black, true black flowers from our flower dyes. Oh. She says, of course, and she obliged. So I have a little box of flowers wow. that I have just flipped over with a brush and um, dry brushed them with white gesso and I've popped some gilding wax on. Look at that. Okay. So we've got a chrysanthemum. I'm just going to pop them to the side but as we do them. Okay. Um, and then I've cut... No, I haven't. She's cut some of our, ni <laughs> <laughs> some of our nice uh, foliage dyes. Yeah. We've got poppy leaves. We've got some ivy. Now, I've chosen to keep them black at the moment. Yeah. But I've got... I've kept a couple of the flowers black just so that I can show you how I achieve that look. So we'll pop them in there. So we'll use those. And then... I need a brush. So let's use this big fluffy one. And I've just wiped all that gesso up. Look. So just a little bit of gesso onto there. And then just whip it around. Yeah. 
and then we'll do the same on this one. So this is, um, it's the same die, but it makes all the different flowers. It's the multi dies. So this is um, your little daisy. Yeah. This one's your rose. And then once you're happy with that, I think I used this colour. You just gently, sorry, look at the state of my hands. <laughs> Whip a little bit of gilding, and it is just a touch but it just gives it that little bit extra. So now I've got my pile of flowers. They look like metal, don't yeah. they? But yeah, just, just by adding that little bit of gesso, I'm just going to have to just quickly wipe that Yeah, there. well, you wait. Uh, what I pass that out. Uh, let's do, let, we have got a 12 by 12, the super smooth and the uh, true black. You are getting 25 sheets of two of, uh, 25 sheets of each so 50 in total 15 pounds and 49 pence is your price 034844 is your item number for that one we have got of course the different sizes including the 15 by 30 uh, the 15 by 42 as well now if you wanted to go for the a3 and a4 we have them here you are getting 40 sheets of the a3 80 of uh, the a4 so that's 40 of white in a4 40 of the true black in a4 and 20 of the A3 or ones. Right, uh, now if you want, uh, Hazel is ready for the next uh, part. Okay, so I've grabbed one of my 15 by 30. You'll need four of these to make the frame. Okay. Um, and I'm going to score at one centimetre, four and a half, eight and eleven and a half. Don't okay. worry if you yes. don't get that because you will get instructions. Right. Um, I'm going to do a centimetre. That's going to make me a little tab. And then at four and a half to the second line. Yeah. I have gone ahead and done four of these um, already, but one thing I did want to show you was the um, how I did the heat embossing okay, on it. Yeah. So literally, we're just going to make the tab, two little snips, fold that behind to keep it safe. Yeah. Snip that one away and then come at an angle to the bottom of that line. Okay. Yeah. Then snip that away. Just like so. And we, do we get instructions for this? Absolutely, oh, yes. Probably. So I'm just turning it over, doing them four lines. I will be getting gilding wax on this one because it is on my finger. Yeah. I've got paint on it too. Just try, try and ignore it for me. Uh, well, we are making a distress one, aren't we? We are making the kind of Absolutely. inky background. So I'm just going to pop some anti-static over there. Okay. And I will just do a little touch of embossing and then we can move on. Now there would, oh, I see it's going to have to be our script um, stamp from the poppy set. All right, yeah, the poppy uh, stamp. Pop some of that down. Were coming up on the screen. And all I've done is just added a little bit that way, maybe a little bit that way, and I've filled that up. I'm going to bring this in to show you. Can you see? Look oh, at that. Oh, yeah. So that's what I want to achieve. So all I've done from there then is I'm going to, I'm going to steal this. To, to do it on. Pop your powder on. Uh. And then we would heat that. Uh. How, and you have how much time oh, have we sorry. got? Yes, uh, we have got seven minutes. Okay, that's good. I'll quickly heat that and then we can move on. Okay. So make sure that your gun is nice and warm. But I just love the black embossing on the black. It just looks absolutely amazing. Can you see how that's coming? You, do you use the red liner tape to glue the sides of the red liner tape for the sides Absolutely, of yes. Okay. I, I'm not going to heat all of that because I have got them here and oh, I right, really yeah. need the time to show you the exactly. other. But yeah. all I've done from there, my red liner tape, I've put down my end there and then on these tabs. So you're just going to peel this away. And then you turn it over and fold it down on the second line and bring that up. Yeah. That naturally finds its fold and that gives you that. one tube. Okay. So basically what we're making is a 12 inch frame just short of and we are going to put our little mixed media piece inside and we're going to add in all our flowers and it's all made out of your true black card um, can I mention the red liner tape that since you are of using course, it? Of course, yeah, yeah it's so popular to we, have. Yeah, we do have got the bundle that has got the 3 mil, the 6 mil, the 9 mil and the 12 mil. Remember that each of these rolls has got, it has 
30 meters in it, which means this equivalent of six traditional five meter. So this four set is actually the equivalent of uh, actually doing, uh, uh, so now that would be six times four, 24 rules. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you have got, and of course, uh, you have those uh, for 13 pounds and 99 pence, and they come set singly packaged as well. So you have got more uh, this is from the website, including the EVA uh, glue, uh, 225 ml with those five uh, star reviews. It's a fabulous, wet, you know, kind of wet adhesive that is neutral pH, so it's perfect for your mixed media and memory albums as well. And one of the reasons I like it, it's, it's a quick grab as well, isn't it? It has got a quick grab, yes, and it doesn't yellow, um, it stays flexible over time. But the most important thing for us is that it's perfect for our craft. Yeah. Because um, that's what we want, isn't it? Yeah. Something that's going to grab quick. It's a nice consistency. It works fabulous through our bottles yeah. um, and it just fr flow, bleh, flows through. Really. And you put it in these uh, bottles, the non clogged bottles, yes. don't you? Uh, now it comes in a set of two, and then you can refill with whatever glue you want to. Uh, this one is the, uh, I think the, the yellow one is the wider tip, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So that's the 37.5 mil with the in a 0.8 mil up, uh, needle. And then, of course, we have got the 23.5 uh, uh, bottle in there. Right. Okay, I just proceeded because I know that we're going to be pushed on time yeah. to um, finish this. But I've just put my frame together and you can see the glint from that gorgeous Ooh, um, heat yeah. emboss on there. So That's then amazing. I've got myself a sheet of the 12 by 12. Now I have cut it down slightly because I've used the 15 by 30, but um, I've done a centimetre tab. You... Um, yeah. You lose a centimetre, so it's okay. 29 centimetres. Okay. So then I'm going to grab my 12 mil and I'm just going to pop that around so that we can stick the backing okay. on. And then it's, I, just, I so love this. I go through so much 12 mil. <laughs> it just, it fills so much area quickly, yeah. you see, and you yeah, haven't got to worry. Right so we'll just pop that on there. Then we'll have a pair of tweezers. Just whip them off. Um, now, I did actually emboss a faint line around mine so that when I stuck oh, my centre in, yeah. it kind of gave me a faux border. Yes. I haven't got a bin down there, Ben, and I, I'm sorry, oh. but I'll tidy it up afterwards. <laughs> well, you know, there should be. Mm -hmm. So I've just in slightly embossed, you see? see? So when I stick my piece I inside, see. I know I'm going to get it in the middle. That's yeah. providing I stick this on the here straight, yeah. which looks quite straight to me so we'll stick that down yeah. there we go ah uh, yeah that was just the frame so here's the piece we're going to pop that in and hopefully yeah it's, i'm so worried we we're going to run out uh, yeah, of time three minutes we three. have got three minutes okay. Don't you have got if i can get some flowers on there that would be helpful uh well and remember you are back at uh, 11 11 yes. so, so with missing Oh, excellent. Okay, so choose which way round you want it, and I think I want it that way. And just position. I'm just eyeballing. It's about there. But that absolutely, because you've got the gesso on that, it just really bounces oh, out that. of that frame. Love that. So once we start popping in our different pieces, now I would always lay them down first. So let's get some of the... I knew I'd lose something. Yeah. I thought I'd got two of those. I have. Here we go. Let's get some of them down. Look. So I like to piece them down first and work from the bottom yeah. up, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it does. And I want to keep the black ones there because that's going to um, really show up against yeah. the, the background. So let's add in maybe okay. this one. And then there's a larger rose there. And these are just going to fit around... Lovely. Why do we always, why does the time always go so quick? <laughs> there we go. We'll pop that one in there. Wow. It, it's going to be as if it's stuck down. Yeah. Um, the, the, Would you use the glue gel? For that's exactly again? where I was going. I am going to stick it down with my 3D glue gel, uh, just a little dob behind each one, and I will finish this off in between the shows. So when we open up at the 11 o'clock show, I will show you it all. Um, all of it. 
yeah, stuck together. But yeah, just keep going and adding in all of your little bits. And, and then that would make a gorgeous gift. Or if you couldn't part with it, keep it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely stunning. But it's not an expensive. What have I used there? One, two, I've used four 15 by 30s. I've used one 12 by 12. And then I've, pro I've used another 12 by 12 to cut down for my background. And then maybe... Yeah, uh, maybe one more sheet for your die cutting of your flowers. But how? Yeah. I can't lift it up for you, unfortunately, because it's not stuck. It's not, no, don't worry. But, that's, yeah. that's fine. And thank you so much, Hazel. Thank you. It's a really amazing demonstration. We'll see you at eleven o'clock. You will indeed. Uh, remember to check out your baskets, especially for the fifteen by thirty. Uh, you are getting fifty sheets of each of the super smooth and fifty of the true black. So a hundred are uh, in total. You can see them there for fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. So Seven four three eight five seven is the item number. Now, of course, do kind of check out on the website all the adhesives that Hazel has been using, including the removable as well. There's lots more that we haven't seen. Uh, stay tuned though, because we have got a fabulous one-day special after the break. A clay nice bag with Fiona and his amazing demonstrations as always. Such clever designer cleaner, so stay tuned for that amazing one day special. Then we have got at nine jewelry box and then at ten Jen Goodwin embroidery. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda.
Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Hello, very good morning to you and welcome to the One Day Special. Now, we had a fantastic flying start to the One Day Special last night and I can only see that continuing today. So my advice to you is please don't miss out. I'm here with a fabulous Kleiner Palmer. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. Good morning. Look at you with your Fabergé eggs. Well, I know they're not, they're, they're not the real Fabergé eggs, they're but... Faubergé. A uh, Faubergé. I love it. It's absolute <laughs> genius. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely nod to the, 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 the Fabergé style, but let's have a little look and then we're just going to sort out our Kleiner's mic there and uh, join her in a moment. Now, the One Day Special comprises of a 24 die collection and you're saving 10 Pounds. And what you're getting is the different sizes. So you've got the stacking octagon box, you've got the Faubergé egg chocolate box, and then you've got the cupcake box. So if we have a little look at some of the samples, it uh, brings to life. So I'm just going to start with the smallest, just because my little cupcake box was, was just to hand it. Isn't that beautiful? And I've got to say, look at that decorative top. That is absolutely stunning. So in this, the, the cupcake box... We can make this entirely from that die set, can we, um, yes, Kleiner? Yes, yeah? that's right. That is beautiful. That is so ornate on the top. It's exquisite. It took me, it took me a bit of a while, lots of prototypes, before yeah. I, I actually could get that to work. That is absolutely... And does, does it just open up? I don't want to ruin anything, but it just, it just opens up. Does it on the top? Yeah, if you'd yeah. like to open up maybe the red one there. Right, where's the red one? In it, on the right-hand side there. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm like, Lena. She knows me too well. I don't want to start ruining everything. <laughs> well, that one's been opened and shut ah, every show. Oh, yes, look. Um, oh, this is so beautiful. It's been opened and shut every show, so it does actually show that, you know... Oh, you see how not, the tabs... You can, you can open and close them a few yeah. times, even though they're paper. Ah... <gasps> That is good. Oh, look! Look at the cupcake in there. I wasn't expecting that. Thought, well, why not, Fiona? It just say cupcake box. Um, isn't that absolutely adorable? That is beautiful. Yeah, that's so stunning. Now I've got to close that again, but in a moment. Uh, then we have got, so this, oh my goodness, so this is the next die set, is it? The stand, as it were. The, this is the sort of the medium. Yeah, so we've got... Um... Like two stacking boxes, I've called them, because yeah. they kind of layer on top of each other. <gasps> uh, but they can be used individually. It's just that um, I managed to actually manufacture the small box inside the big box dies. So you kind of get two. Two? The price of one. Okay, so oh, that, is, uh, and that is so, 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 so. And again, all that beautiful, ornate rose work in terms of the actual... Um, the pretty, it's almost like engraving, isn't it? Yeah. That you see around the, the, the jeweled box or the egg. Um, so, and then we've got, so, so it was that, that one there, Kleiner, that, that we were just right. talking so, about. So the way, the way they all work is that you, um, you basically cut each panel eight times. Right. But I've actually been finding that with, um, like, medium weight card, I've been cutting two at a time. Oh. So that's only four passes through. And with my lining papers, I've actually been cutting four layers at a time, so that's only two passes. Gosh. So, although that sounds a bit eight times, you can actually <laughs> cut that down quite a bit. But then when you look at this lovely oval shape, because there's, the, there's, the, there's that large die set in the middle, the Faubergé egg die. Yeah. It, I mean... Because, because there's so many um, facets, it does mean that when it comes together, the, you know, especially those two are quite substantial size boxes. Oh, they That's nine inches tall and <gasps> five and a half inches across. And again... The lid comes off if there was something you wanted to store. I mean, I am thinking Easter. I am thinking, obviously, the eggs. The blue one there has actually got an Easter egg in it. 
Oh, this one down here? Yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. This is absolutely gorgeous. And you'll notice those jewels. We have got those on the show. Uh, we'll show you those in a moment. So this has actually got an egg in it. So let's... And can we make this... Is this, is this with the nesting dies that I've got coming up for the top bit? Um, you know that actually, little... for uh, the stand and the bottom of the egg. Ah, There's so three of them used in that one. So this bit can we make with what was the finial? Yeah. Yeah. The whole thing. It's the, is that what you call it? The finial? Yeah. Oh, it's all right. I don't know. I love learning a new word. You know, a bit like um, you got on the ends of curtain <gasps> holes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, no, I've never heard that word before ever. All right. fin the finial. Did you know that, uh, Maddie? The finial. I love a new word. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and then, <laughs> I do have curtains in my house yet, Mr. Webster. <laughs> I do know what a curtain is. <laughs> it started early. It's only 8 o'clock. Um, here we go. So, absolutely stunning. That is just So, that is actually a large egg from a supermarket. <gasps> just, gosh. That's not your smaller medium. That's actually no. a large one. Wow. That is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. So, oh, I'm knocking over me jewels here, which you can see are coming up. Uh, so the complete collection, 24 dies. We're going to see these in action because it's always easier to see and explain. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the one day special there. Uh, and then that's 54.99. So that's for these three here. Uh, 4.11735. But I've got to say the majority of you going for the complete collection because what does the nested octagon die do for us? It's, it's the bases, isn't it? It's this large base that I can see here, Kleiner. Yeah. Um... The, my thinking was when you um, when you purchase or ordinarily when you purchase a uh, box or bag die sets they've normally got the bases and the lids within the individual sets yeah um, but what that means is you could be purchasing um, basic shapes over and over over and over every yeah. time you buy a set it will have it could have squares or hexagons or whatever so I was thinking, is there a way that you could just do that once so have, and, and then have several boxes that work in conjunction? Yes. So I designed the four different boxes to work with the nested dies to be the bases and the lids. So there's your bases and your lids for, for whatever yeah. box you're going for and also a gorgeous l l die cut but anyway. They do all the things that nested dies do yeah. as well. So is this, that's why I asked, I was thinking of those triangles in the corner and was that, did you need this for, to make your, fin, uh, your finial? Oh, but no, no, no. That, that, that's in the, that's in no, the one day I special like anyway. No, um, I just like to use every little bit of a bit yes. of space so I always pack as much in as I can. Which I love. And you know, we've got a gorgeous, where's that gorgeous card gone? I mean, that is just made entirely, if you're just going yeah. for the dies themselves with the triangles as well there. And I love the fact that the claim gives, gives you such great value for money. I mean, it's like a beautiful mosaic, isn't it? It's like a kaleidoscope, isn't that Stunning. Yep, Hannah made that one. It's great, isn't oh, it? Hannah, I congratulate you. It's absolutely beautiful. So most of you are going understandably so when you, you look at these incredible collections. I mean, look at this. I don't want them hiding. They're just... Look at how beautiful is that. And obviously we've got Pink Frog on today with the card. So never been a better time for your construction yeah, to definitely. tie in. That's uh, Ali's creation. And oh, doesn't Ali. it look like a three-tier like wedding cake? Uh, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, you could do wedding cakes, couldn't you? I thought of that. Kind of, it looked like that to That's me. beautiful with the gold on the white. I mean, oh, it's just stunning. I love the way that she's used my amaryllis uh, flowers to Yes, it. around the side there. Yeah, Isn't that stunning? Lovely. Beautiful. And then the half baskets there, I thought that's just genius as well. Uh, beautiful. And is that, is that with the faux budget egg yeah, in the, in the one day special? It. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? So the complete collection means you're getting the ten pounds saving from the one day special. You're also getting a further ten pounds saving uh, with your nested dies. So that twenty pounds is coming to you uh, if you're a non-freedom member. You get twenty pounds, but if you're a freedom club member. There's a bit more. You get £28 saving. And that takes it right down to £71.96, And we've got that on FlexiBuy payments as well. So we can split the cost over February and March. £35.98 for two FlexiBuy payments. So please don't miss out. I mean, look at this. It's like, oh... Isn't that stunning? I love the fact that we've not only got the, the, the shape to create the boxes, but Klein has gone to such detail and, and, and time to create the, the overlay, that ornate etching. Now, you'll notice that stunning Faubergé egg, which I just love saying that because I just think it's genius. The mum's a genius. Um, is our lovely faux jewels. And these are big. We get the faux jewels, don't we, on the show for sticking on on our little gems. But these are big. Big beauties, aren't they? Now, we've got all, all eight packs. 
and there's um, the seven in each, so 56. Oh, is there eight in each? I can't count. No. Yeah, oh, I think oh they, there's one on the bottom. There's there, they're all the kind cards, of foxing me this morning. They've taken one off. I did think seven was an odd number. I thought, well, they're not going to go for even <laughs> steams, yeah. are they? So you get 64 of these fantastic uh, coloured gems, all faceted there. And it's got a flat bottom, so they, you can stick them down nice and easy. And we're approaching 60% of these gone. They've got that wow factor, haven't they? £16.98, 767-110. Right, we're dying to see these in action. I mean, I've got all these beautiful samples behind me. So let's go and join Cleaner and see how it all works and comes together. Okay, so I'm going to start with my stand. Um, yesterday, I, uh, I did actually, um, if anyone watched that show, I did um, shut the bottom tab and just left the top one. But what I've, I've been experimenting a little bit because some of, them, some of the facets popped open. So I've been experimenting and actually if you leave the whole side open when you put your eight sections together, because they all just... You just um, uh, glue them along the tabs. But I've been using some tape today. Right. I would recommend using um, a good, a good quality, high quality PVA for putting, putting your eggs together. But obviously, I don't have the time in the studio. But yeah. Um, so when you've when you've done this, you then pop it in like that, and it just goes inwards. And then you can close it up. And then. That forms your stand. Ah. I've just got that last one. So you've got those inner flaps uh, that are die cut for you to connect. Yes, we've just got that one there then. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll pop our bend this up. We'll put our inner inner octagon in place. I always like to stick it on one, first of all, to anchor it. And then you can work round and... Um, now, this will probably grab a bit quick because it's got tape. Yeah. But, you know, if you, if you um, use glue, you can kind of slide it around and then hold it once you're happy. Now, what sort of GSM are you using in terms of cardstock? Because I know that'll be a question, uh, Clay, now. Right, now, for your base, I would say... Um, you want it to be fairly sturdy, but to be honest, the way the facets work, and the way, because it's kind of angular, yeah, um, builds a start kind of strength, it's doesn't sturdy. it? Pretty sturdy, yeah. yeah. So what a two? I mean, a two fifty card, or would you look at three hundred? Yeah, yeah. I would say I would say two fifty upwards, right? Um, okay. Ideally, if you're um, making it out of metallic. Um, card stock. A lot of them are about. They that. are two eighty three hundred yeah. usually, aren't they? Yeah. But when yeah. it comes to the eggs and the other boxes, mm. um, it doesn't need to be quite that. Quite Thick, that well, heavy. Kind of that heavy. Yeah. For instance, the um, the card stock that I use for um, a lot of my boxes is this kind of texture card. And right. Lots of companies do it. Yeah. Um, and that's about two two five. Right. Okay. Um, so it's not the heaviest. But the thing is, because you line your boxes. And with the overlays as well, it's kind of layering up. It builds up. a kind of strength, yeah. Yeah, they become quite sturdy. So mm. don't go thinking you need to use the heaviest. It's always one that don't want to come off, isn't there? And I really like that idea of the, the creating a wedding cake. I really <laughs> like that. I know it's like I'm <laughs> off the cuff, but to be one. it's actually, such a good actually shape. Actually, talking about um, papers, the, the Easter egg one that I made there, the turquoise one with the ribbon on top, Right in front of you, on the right-hand side of you there. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, I actually just made that out of pattern paper, so that was even oh. lighter again. Wow, it's okay. It's just two layers of... Of, oh, it's got of your pattern paper stuck in together. It. Isn't that beautiful? Little well, Easter Bunny hiding in there, there he is. <laughs> I know, is that gorgeous, that lovely pattern paper? That is stunning. Yeah, so that was actually lighter again, that was just too... Yeah, but I tell you what, that feels sturdy, like you said. That feels really robust. I wouldn't have picked it up... Uh, cleaner if it didn't. <laughs> I've got terrible yeah, and dread. I think that's, that's the thing about these. If you... Fab. If you were to gift someone, you know, some chocolates or an, or an Easter egg in one of those uh, Frobergé eggs, I think they would, they would keep that for, for quite oh, a while, wouldn't they? Definitely. They wouldn't, want, they wouldn't be... want to discard that, I don't think. No, not in a million years. You'd be putting other little uh, knickknacks and you'd have it on display, like you said, and pop other things in there. It's absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, so that's our base put together. But once you've, um, they're, they're quite sturdy once you yeah. know, you've got all the shape into them. Okay, so we'll move on to our body. Now again, we've got eight panels, but I've put most of it together because I want to make sure that I get more than um, one demo done. Okay, so on this, the main thing that I, I recommend is um, obviously folding along all of your score lines. But the thing I want to point out is that you've got tiny little score lines popping out of the sides at each section in between the tabs. You've got it on both sides. Right. But they're not joined. They're only joined on that top one. But it's important that you actually fold along those. Okay. To get, you know, the, the facets there. And it really helps make a neat egg. I'm going to do that on both my pieces. Now, if you're not confident uh, to actually just fold it by hand, mm -hmm. just put a ruler along it and then bend it up against the ruler. Okay. And that's really quick then as well. Okay, so we've got those. Like I say, these, rather than, you know, watch me put all of these on, I've, um, I'm just going to put the last one in. Which is great for TV because it's the most difficult one. <laughs> because as you put more and more in, it kind of tries to close in on your hands. I love this one as well, Claire. They've got such character. The team have really thought of some imaginative... Yeah, that's, that's Claire. Isn't, Isn't that, that great? brilliant? It's like the dinosaur egg. I mean, it is just thinking about it in more, more different ways, isn't it? And just look at this with the, the tail coming out the top. If you've got any of that, you know, nice soft air dry clay or... Uh, yeah. It's not amazing. I love that idea. Yeah, alien egg. It's just brilliant, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Look, there's the claw coming underneath as well, being grabbed. <laughs> it's such fun. They're gorgeous. Now, how's that going? Right, so I love these because have you seen a Fabergé egg? Not in real life. I saw one in the, the V&A down in London. They're oh. very small, obviously. Oh. Yeah, they're small. Well, but the ones I saw were small. They? Yeah, I they're so bejeweled because... and bedecked, aren't they, with this, that, and the other, and gold yeah. inlay, and there's some sapphires and emeralds and what have you. Yeah, I'm always noticing them in films. You know when like. The other night I was watching an interview with a vampire and I oh, could yeah. see them in the background. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to watch now. <laughs> okay. And then I've got my overlay. Now, I've put my overlay together. Right. Um, but I could just talk you through it. So you've got the lower half of the laurel wreath that goes on top of your base overlay. And then you've got this little um, double flower piece then that goes in the middle. So the idea is, is that the... You put the top half of the laurel wreath, you've got to say that carefully, <laughs> laurel wreath, on the, the top one and the extra bow. And then when they come together, then they kind of complete the wreath. So that's the idea in that one. And I like to do these in, in, in layers, these overlays, if possible, because, um, well, when you see those, Fabergé eggs. They are quite dimensional. They've got a lot, you know, they've got a lot going on. They have, yeah. They, they really are, the word is bedecked, aren't they, on the outside with all sorts. Okay, so you just want to center it up on that second line. There is another die that, that fills in these pieces. Oh, yeah. Um, but I found that you don't really need them. It's a snug enough fit without those. And whether we're thinking eggs or not, it's just, again, another beautiful shaped box within which to present a gift or contain some, some, a present or something. Stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I think it's... Um, if you're in the cupcake business, brilliant. 
<laughs> you know, honestly, just these gorgeous cupcake boxes. We were saying um, elevate with, with Janice yesterday, but you know how some people have um, big cupcake structures instead of wedding cakes now? Oh, yes, yeah. And then you could kind of send you, your guests See, home with and one. And take them, you? take one back yeah. with you, yes, as a little gift. Isn't that gorgeous? I remember I was used to um, come home after um, parties when I was at school with a slice of cake in a bag. Yeah, and it would all be get crushed though by the time you got it back. That's it the thing with a cupcake. Yeah, that's the thing with a cupcake. You want to protect the best bit, which is the icing, the swirly icing, and then look at how pretty they are. But that's what's fantastic about, and on a practical level, how beautiful the box structure is. I mean, obviously, I just designed it as a gift box. Yes, that was indeed. In a cupcake yeah. shape, but, but it's, it's robust cool enough. That it can actually have inside. What exactly, it looks like, like this little outside. beauty one here. Ooh, yeah. I'm amazed it's still in there, to be, to be honest. I was, I'm, I'm, I'm stunned that uh, it's not been snaffled, uh, Kleiner. There we go, look at that. Mmm. Now a bit of that. That's okay, very so cute as well, just using the base. So pretty. <laughs> and what's good about these is because... because um, you know, you're, you've got eight sides. They do actually come up to a couple of them. They're quite substantial in size. That bottom, the peach um, stacking box is there. Yes. That bottom one, I've actually got five kids' T-shirts in there. Have you? Really? Oh, my Just gosh, he's waiting. Yeah. Oh, let's have a... How much they will actually let's hold. Let's have a note. Five T-shirts. My goodness me. Oh, she has as well. She's not lying. There we go. Yep. They're, I tell you what, they're, 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 well, it's they're, actually three kids, are teenagers and ah. adults, but... There we go. There we go. They're all in there. There we go. More work for my lovely floor manager now. Can she get them back in? This is the, this is the question. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to put my liners in now to finish okay. it off. And these are just paper. Um, but I think it's nice to have that... Attention to detail, isn't it? A bit of gold or, you know, something a bit different. So this is something you would do after the assembly, would you, Clayna, rather than before? Yeah, because it, it, it's... It serves a couple of purposes. Yeah. One of them is that it can add a little bit more structure, a little mm -hmm. bit more, you know, rigidity. But the other thing is it covers up all your workings. Ah, so yes. So it covers up all your all your tabs. So these are basically um, the side panels. And then all you need to do is just cut your tabs off. Ah, okay. So if you've got some nice coloured papers, like you said, or... Want to, want, to, want to cover up the inside with some lovely foil or something. Beautiful. Yeah, so if you've got some um, lightweight paper and you th and that you really want to use, put something a bit sturdier on the inside. Mm. Or, you know, if, if it's sturdy enough, then you can use something really thin. So you just slide it in. You want to just make sure that the top edge is flush. Yeah. And then I just walk my fingers down. And that's it. And then I've cut an extra one of my base. Ah, yes. I actually cut that a couple of times to make it rigid. Okay, and then it's all... Fantastic. It's it does lined. make a difference when you line the inside like that. Isn't that yeah, beautiful? I think it's definitely mm, worth, worth, it. worth spending the time, isn't it? Yeah. So we're just going to finish off our top. So this is all in the Faubergé One Day Special. And we've got the Octagon Box die set with it as well on the screen right now. Savings from both for the complete collection obviously carry forward. And then so that's £20 as a non 
uh, Freedom Club member. If you are a Freedom Club member, there's another eight pounds carried forward. It's giving you a saving of 28 pounds. So, by you know, you, this this allows you, as Claire was saying, not only to have those beautiful shaped nested dies and all those extras that she's crammed in there, but to make those large bases that you can see here um, that all the lovely Faberge eggs are standing on. So, in the one-day special, you are getting the 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 Faberge egg, the the small cupcake box there as well, and you're also getting for the smaller box there as well all the components which is this this part here or but you're getting all of it complete so you can go for that bigger one because i think these two together uh sort of looks, looks like a helter skelter to me so i think this is fantastic uh 71 pounds 96 and as clean as i mean look at this one this is a stunning cleaner i'm going to ask you how was this sort of which die was that because that's your swirlies isn't it oh is this that, is claire again she, honestly oh, she's amazing isn't she i do yeah she is um, our ideas are great. That's actually the top layer of the cupcake box. Ah. And then she spiralled it into flowers. Isn't that beautiful? You see, this is why you need the hexagon set as well, uh, which I'm, most of you are going for the complete collection anyway. That is, that is beautiful. And we've got these happy birthday dies and best wishes on the show. Yeah. We'll go, so if you're shopping ahead, you can find those on the website as well. We can split that into two flexi elements of £35.98 as well over February and March. And those lovely jewels that uh, Klein has got on the show as well. Uh, you get 64 of those and 60% uh, of the stock has gone. So there's a couple of uh, PDFs going up on my Facebook group. Oh, right. And what's One... your Facebook group for anybody who doesn't know you, Kleiner? Uh, Kleiner's Crafty Crew. There we go. Lovely. So the first one is a cutting guide to help you um, with how many of each piece to cut out and what each piece is for. Um, I don't want you to look at a packet when it comes home and be a bit daunted and not... And think, where do I start? And not give it a try, so, yeah. Did you do that last night, anyway, with Yanis at, uh, uh, was it six and eight, was it, Plainer? Did you do some cutting? I'm just saying people could watch it on Rewind if... Um... Oh, no, I, no, I no, didn't, she actually. Didn't. No, I didn't, um, I <laughs> want to try... You have to go and get on your Facebook if we want to... A couple of demos in. I see. But there's a, um, yeah, so there's a PDF with a cut, you know, that's a cutting guide. And then there's another PDF that's got to be going up. And that's got all of the variations of the sentiments that I had in mind when I designed the, um, the mixums. Oh, okay, yeah. Fabulous. Plainer's Crafty Crew on the Facebook page there. You can get that, download that PDF. Right, so I've put this panel together already. So I'll just pop that on. Little bit of glue. I always tend to go overkill. You probably don't need that much glue. Now you just line up at the base there, where that um, where that circle is. Yes. And then just smooth it up. I can see why those lines, those score lines, are so important now because they give that lovely curvature, don't they, to the yeah, it makes the panel. it so much easier yeah. for putting it together. I mean, I haven't. Uh, I haven't been getting the best results using that tape and trying to do it, you know. People often use both, speed. don't they? They use the tape and the bit of glue for wiggle room, don't they? Yeah, yeah. That Just would for extra security. Well, there's your finial. So, if I remember right, it's a finial, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that in. And then the little um, pieces bend backwards. So one at a time, just a finger inside and a thumb outside. I'm just going to press those into place. And then when I glue my, my panels over the top, my liners, they'll sandwich those they'll sandwich those in. Ah, oh, yes, I see, yeah. You're just folding those outwards, aren't you? Just a nest. You can see those now, actually, yeah. And then they'll close over and, ah, oh, yeah, I see. You've thought of everything, Cleaner. I was just yeah, looking at I mean, ordinarily, I, I wouldn't put those in first, but I obviously did it um, for speed. 
Um, so I wasn't doing them all. If I show everybody this one at home, I noticed then, uh, and you finished it off beautifully as well with another hexagon there that we can cut out to finish it off. So it's uh, all, all neat and tidy. So totally becomes seamless and beautiful. Am I right to have a quick recap planer and then sure. come straight back to you? Is that all right? Or is there anything else you wanted to mention with that putting together no, of your I'm egg there? I'm just putting the last couple of bits on. So you go ahead. Thank you. Lovely. Right then, let's have a catch up on the one day special. The Faubergé eggs. So you're looking at these, these beautiful, beautiful eggs containing Easter bunnies, presents, eggs, uh, cupcakes. Yeah, all sorts. So these are the Faubergé eggs. So in the die set, you are getting everything you need to make all those beautiful panels, the fennel on top, and that stunning, stunning base. And then, of course, the lovely ornate overlay there as well. That is in the die set also. You're also getting the cupcake die set as well, which again makes, I mean, look at that, how beautiful and detailed it is. And this does open out. Uh, we've actually got a cupcake stored in one of these, so that's another die set. And then, <laughs> no, I'm not hand, I wouldn't be handling it like that if it was that one. And then that one down there, you see, that is your base that I said to you. If I show you here with my bunny, uh, that, is, that is your base here. So that's the, uh, a plainer one, which looks gorgeous in the papers there because it looks like wood. But of course, you can make that really ornate as well. Uh, if we look at this one, beautiful. Anyway, so that is the one day special, £54.97 for But you're all going for the complete because not only, you know, can you make your, your base there uh, and your, your, your cupcake or your Faubergé egg, you can make this big, beautiful box as well. Isn't that stunning? Really, really beautiful. And then Klein has jam-packed it with every... Um, nesting die possible because she was thinking lids and the base you know you don't if you're buying a kind of a box die such as so unusual as the Faubergé you don't want to like, keep buying lids and boxes lids and boxes so let's just create one die set that's what the nested oxygen dies are about 28 matte frame corner and tag creations so the majority of you now are going for all of it because the £10 saving is from this the £10 saving is from this plus another £8 if you're a Freedom Club member which takes it right down to £71.96, two flexi buy payments there of £35 and of oh, some pence. At 98. 98. It always tricks in me. I never know it's 98, 97, 96. Uh, but fantastic, fantastic saving there. 709545. And I, I'm sure you agree when you look at these samples, just how it's, it's a must if you want to elevate it to another level. You're loving the lovely faux uh, gemstones. I mean, you couldn't have a faux bougie egg without your gemstones, could you? And these are sizable. Now you are getting eight. You see that fox me this morning as well. Look at all of these gorgeous colours there. Flat bottom on the underside and silver there. So you can, uh, you know, just add, add your glue. But you're getting eight in each of those. So eight times it. You get 64. My producer loves these with the Aurora borealis sort of coloring there on the faceting but they just again elevate it to another level really make it bedecked and bejeweled stunning so you've got all of those all of those lovely colors there and 60 percent of the stock has gone 16 pounds 98 seven six seven one one zero there is the eight fiona there's the eight missing from the pack <laughs> <laughs> it was fox me. I thought, I really don't like the seven business. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? I'll be like even numbers. Now, I mentioned the sentiments that we saw, best wishes and birthday. So again, um, Plainer mentioned earlier how this goes in and ties in, because that's what she does with all of her dies. Make sure that they tie in with each other, with your mixums, yeah? So it's, it's about we're all working together. So this is a 28 die. Uh, collection but also we've got the beauty of these 31 stamps and again as always great value i mean cleaner packs every inch of that with a sentiment so you've got hearts you've got let's catch up girl wishing you were uh, a, a and then you've got rock you've got your true you make me so smile it's just sending lots of uh, best day ever miss you such a special have you know be as fabulous as you are you know you can really mix them up as well and i love the end so we don't get that big gap so if you're sticking a word on the end it's all beautiful measured so that there isn't that massive gap or you know if you want to go if you go linear that is so here on these ones we have got the thank you and the hello and friend thinking best so again you can mix up your sentiments if I turn that around and then this one we've got love happy birthday congratulations with love and thanks as well 
So lots of different machinations there. Got that on two flexible by phones for £24.49 or a one-off payment of £48.97 and you get those 31 stamps. And then moving down to the family collection. So again, always with Klein, it's, it's trying to think of different ways in which you can use them. So you've got the one set, so you don't have to buy another set. So you don't have to keep buying another set. You know, this is it, you, to stand you in good stead. So we've got grand, mother, father, uncle, cousin, aunt. And I love that because the cousin always gets forgotten, 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 forgotten. And if you're like me, I'm, we're very close to our, 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 my cousins and that. So they, they, they're, like, they're like best friends. So that's your one. And then we've got mom, dad, sister, daughter, son, uh, there we go, and brother there as well. So you're mix mixing those together, granddaughter, obviously, grandson, grandmother. You've got it, you've got it all covered. And we've also got another 30, oh, well, 22 stamps. So you've got 26 dies in this one. And then you've got the family, beautiful polymer sentiment stamps there as well for the sweetest and the world in law. Love you, sending all my love, happy anniversary. Uh, you know, sometimes you, you sort of, yeah, I love that, the fact that we've got the in-law, you know, the stepsister-in-law, you know, fabulous, isn't it? The most amazing, yeah, gorgeous. Two flexible payments of £19.99 for that collection, 874258. Now, you might be looking at that one day special plus the nesting dies and thinking, I want to get a hold of that £8 saving. But it makes it a bit of a why not deal if you become a Freedom Club member today. So let's find out more. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Absolutely, £5.97, you get an extra £8 saving. It's a why not? And then unlimited standard delivery for the month, so you can take advantage of more savings. The complete collection knows what you're all going for. Uh, here it is. It's that amazing set of 28 uh, matte corner and tag frame uh, designs there in the hexagon. And then you've got the Faubergé egg. You've got your cupcake. And you've got that, that beautiful base stand there as well. The octagon, I should say. The nested octagon. What did I call it? The hexagon. Oh, I'm sorry, it's eight-sided, Fiona. It's an octagon, mm. not six. Yes. It's very, that, no, it's, it's the octagon. Yeah, yeah, that one actually makes two boxes. Yeah. £71.96, £709,545. Yeah, need to, get, need to get my size right, don't I? Uh, <laughs> we've got just under 20 minutes, Claire, so let's go back to you and you show us what you need to. OK, so I've finished the... Um... I've finished the... Uh... The lovely Faubergé, yeah. And I'll move on to the cupcake box. Oh, lovely. Okay, so um, what you want to do is, um, for putting your overlays on, because I've done six pieces, is you want to fold along um, all of your score lines to begin with. And then what that does is that kind of gives you your area for where to lay your, um, your overlays. So what I've done with these is I've die cut them with... Um, some double-sided sticky tape on the back and I actually um, get that from Hachanda. Ah yes because we do it were they sheets or was it on the big roll? The cleaner? big roll. Oh yeah that yeah, big they're long fabulous. roll. Because yeah, they fantastic. basically turn any of your intricate die cuts mm. into stickers and how easy is this then? Yeah. Uh, do you know that, uh, that those overlays on their own standalone it looks like a little ice cream it's lovely or a little a little something if you put the two like <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking at the shape it looks like a lovely cream sundae or yeah, ice cream. Yeah, I deliberately went for this kind of um, swirl pattern on the top to try and make it look a little bit more like cupcake icing. It's fantastic, but if you were using them on a card, for instance, you could have ice creams. <laughs> so when you, put your, um, when you put your top bit on, just you want to um, line up your tab. Yeah. Um, and just that top little crook there. So you're making um, sure there's like a little margin there all the way around, yeah. And then they'll just fall into place. Ah. So there, this is like really quite a quick and easy make, this one. So whereas your um, Faubergé egg is something that, you know, to set, set a couple of hours aside and really enjoy putting together. Yeah. 
th these are actually quite a quick make. So you've got a good, good selection here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some... I love the idea of the party favours, like you said, or the wedding favours, you know, just making your fairy cakes and when we can all get together and... Or you could just, you know, make some fairy cake and just leave one on a, a neighbour's door to say, hope you're doing all right. Just a little yeah. hello, something, something lovely. They're so gorgeous. I was saying as well, um, you know, obviously when people can go back to work and be kind of, you know, in that environment again, um, I know that, um, you know, like when it's a work colleague's birthday. Yes. And yeah. you want to get them something, but it... You want to mark it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you just want to get them a little something. Yeah. If you would just give them a cupcake, that's great. But this would really dress it up. Wouldn't oh, it? wouldn't it? Something Coming into work with that on your desk. Yeah. That would be me gone. I'd be at the kettle scoffing it. Beautiful. So how many of those did you cut again, Kleiner? Was it the eight, was it? Or... Yep. Yep. Lovely. But I actually um, just set it through four times. Mm -hmm. um, because this is relatively lightweight cardstock, this is the 225. Yeah. I actually cut, um, cut two at a time. And we've got the lovely uh, hazel and pink frog on today. So if you're looking for some card, have a little shifty. They've always got fantastic mirror card as well and gorgeous glue. Uh, with that, for the, that fine nib applicators as well, and some fantastic construction card as well. So uh, have a little look at that on the website. And if you've got any questions for Kleiner, I should say as well, because you might have missed the launch last night at six o'clock, and obviously the eight o'clock show with Kleiner and Yanis. So if you if you want to send us in any questions, send them into studio at chanda.com, or uh, you can uh, post a, a, a nudge there on the Facebook page and, and let us know. Because I tried to think of everything to ask. Were there any other questions that were coming up last night, Kleiner, that would be useful to let people know today? Oh, uh... what are the sort of things people maybe were asking or or, or, or I've said to you. When it comes to the construction, I can't think. Maybe there were none. <laughs> it's all been explained. It's all, you know, fabulous. <laughs> so you yeah, I mean, obviously, if anyone's got any questions, I'm always, always happy to, you know, to try and help. Lovely. And what you mentioned, the fleur, what was the flowers again that this one's been... No, that's the amaryllis. The amaryllis. Ah, no, can we, is that, have we still got any of that in stock, do you know, on your website? Probably. Oh, it's we'll in, have a look. Um, the amaryllis flowers. My, one of my Christmas um, Bloom and Anthem sets. I remember those. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're there on the base as well. This is why you need the uh, the octagon. I keep calling it the hexagon. If you're octagon, it's eight-sided, for crying out loud. I've been doing that too, so don't worry. Do you know what? I'll tell you why, because it's normally the hexagons, isn't it? So it's really yeah. lovely that we've yeah. got the octagon now. But yes, have a, have a little look. You can shop under brand. Have a little look at Cleaner Palmer there on our website and see if there's any of those uh, flowers available in the dyes. Okay, so I anchored it on one side, and then I've gone to the opposite side. I need to tuck that one in. And then, for the others, I tried to do it yesterday, just anchored it on one side, and it was not going to go, because they never do when you're on TV. When you're at home, it goes <laughs> no problem. So I'm just flicking the tabs up inside and then I'm just going to get on the inside of those and pop some glue on. And then I'll press those down. Actually, let's get that middle one. Get that middle one hooked. This is why I like glue, because you can kind of slide it. You've got a bit of wiggle room, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, you've got time for that. Mm. I think that's why people often use the combo, isn't it? They have the liner tape just for, for the positioning, but then they put a bit of extra glue on there. You can slide it right exactly where you need it. Right, yeah. I suppose this is like you said, because of the, you know, the different weights you can use for the, for the assembly. Um, the construction of it means it's, it just all adds to the 
strength, doesn't it? Like you said, you're putting on that base there, and then if you're lining on the inside as well, it makes it sturdy. Yeah, I don't line these ones. Do you put a hex uh, but sorry, I an do octagon put, in the bottom? I do put a second base in. I always yeah. do that. Yeah. I mean, if you want to put a real cupcake in, because they've got a little bit of weight to them, haven't they? Yeah. Um, but it does actually sandwich the base tabs. Um, so that's fine. And then I'll just pop a little bit of glue on that. And then that is the construction of that done. And that, oh gosh, how quick did that come together? I suppose yeah. the longest bit is just, and not, not if you're doing it twice through, is you're die cutting. <laughs> but if you're doing it, you know, if you said you, you doubled up as, as it went through, so it shows you how good your dies are, then it's even quicker still, isn't it? So there is a little uh, trick to put in the top together. Yes. But it's very, it's very simple. Well, you show me, because I'm not attempting it with this cupcake one. Oh, it's very simple. Simple is good. So all we need to remember, mm -hmm. because they overlap, so you need to know which bit needs to overlap. So the side that's got the tab, that's the bit that goes on the outside. So you pop the other, other bit inside. So they overlap on the left. That's all so you need to So go in the direction of your little cherry. And then slide your tabs in. Mm -hmm. Go around just quite loosely, it'll start coming together. Okay, and then you want to just start bouncing it down. Wow, that clicked together really quick, didn't it? And then Isn't that it beautiful? just turns into the cupcake. The top of a cupcake. <laughs> You're a genius. It's absolutely <laughs> fantastic, Lena. How beautiful is that? There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? You think a little wedding favour, as Clayna was saying, or a little cupcake to take away from a party or to present to somebody. What a useful, useful die. It's just stunning. I've uh, got an update. Is that, is that what you said, Charlotte? Sorry, I was just amazed by the cupcake. Oh, for the complete collection now, and that's including the octagon nesting dies, Fiona, not the hexagon, uh, two-thirds of the stock has gone. Two-thirds of the stock has gone, so we're including this double-stitched, fantastic nested octagon die set there as well, which also has your corner and tack creations. So that in itself is a fabulous, fabulous uh, die set. So if I just show you, that creates that beautiful base there because the top one is something you create out of the one-day special. So you wouldn't want to be without that, um, especially when you can create a triple whammy. I mean, stick a fennel on the top of that. That's a helter skelter as well. Isn't that beautiful? Reminds me of those uh, cascading chocolate boxes. This bottom one, Clay has put five t shirts in one of those. I know, it's staggering. Then we've got our bunnies. Our bunny. Yeah, look at that. He's gorgeous. Look at him. Peeping that and that. And Clayna did that with um, the two sets of the coloured paper there. Or rather, sorry, forgive me. I know the team have been creating a lot of these. So apologies. Oh, that was actually from uh, my Christmas set as well. Is my, it? Yeah, oh, it's, fantastic. It, yeah, it, it, it with the uh, the blooming anthems. That's ah. what I put on the reeds. Br oh yes, right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We start, We were on the other side of the studio doing those, weren't we? Yeah. Beautiful. And then you can create a beautiful box like this as well. So don't just think it's, it's, you know, look at that for a presentation gift. We decided that as well, if you were laying them up, it looks like a, a stunning cake as well. This is so pretty. Let me just show you this one as well. Isn't that gorgeous? And then with that lovely mirror, oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, and then we've got like a little Easter bunny basket, if you're just thinking, because that's the one thing we can do at home is create the little egg hunt. This is so sweet for a little table decoration, you know, your little table favours there in the middle. Isn't that beautiful? They're just gorgeous. And there's some amazing ones behind Clay. I've had my eye on, uh, obviously for distancing, I can't go near her. Uh, but the, the, this turquoisey, I mean, this looks bejeweled and bedecked. Have you seen that one over, oh, with the blue? It's just phenomenal. That's the one, that's the one. It looks like it's been stolen out of the V&A. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? What's going on under there? What's oh, going that's, under? Yeah, that's Claire's creation. Oh, Claire. Claire, Claire, Claire. Isn't that stunning? Oh, let me show you the dinosaur one again as well, because this is brilliant. Oh, we've got jewels on the cupcake one. Look at this. You, you don't care what's inside when you're looking at something so beautiful as that. Well, obviously, it's great. It's a cupcake. It's a win-win. But 
quite frankly, you just, oh, isn't that lovely? And then look at this, it's brilliant. Look at the hand underneath with your air dry clay, the claw that's creeping out. Imagine a, a little girl or a little boy, you know, their excitement to see what's inside. Rah! Yeah, chocolate. Gorgeous, I absolutely love it. You can have all sorts coming out of there, aliens, all sorts. I love it, absolutely love it. Whatever you're putting in there, not just eggs, toys, cakes, gifts, diamond rings, whatever. Just fabulous, aren't they? Uh, the complete collection is £79.96. £10 saving from here, £10 saving from there, another £8 saving if you're a Freedom Club member, uh, which takes you right down to £71.96. Two flexi five payments of £35.96. Pen? 98 pence. Oh, I knew it was going to fox me again. 709545. Now, the gems. They need to be decked and bejeweled, don't they? Over 60%, don't forget, you are getting 64 of those beauties in all those fabulous colorways. £16.98, 767110 as well. And we've got the sentiment. So, uh, oh, and we've got, I know, I know I haven't got it, but this is brilliant. Take a stand. If you've not seen it, what it does, I'm sorry, I haven't got a sample. I've chastised Cleaner already about that because I love this die set. And what it does is, is it makes flattens down and then it's, you know, you know when it stands out? You know, you get those photo frames so it stands alone. And then you can also hang it as well. This is a brilliant, brilliant die set. So I just want to mention that. She's a genius. She's a genius. There's no two ways about it. Cleaner, we've probably got about five minutes. What can you show us in five minutes? I will try. <laughs> no pressure. And. Um get this one done okay so you see the the um the easter basket yes i thought we could do a halloween one. Ooh, yes so you don't need all the panels for this one so you can take the top panel off so it's just one panel short of the base so we're just going to snip that off So I'll just get as much of this done as I can. Um, well, then, we only get it 12, aren't we? So yeah, if, anything if, we, we, if we don't, if you know, maybe we can, I can carry on there showing. I can show you. Yeah. Um, but again, just working with, I haven't actually, um, I haven't actually put tape on these, so I don't know how far I'll get. But um, go together in the same way but what I've done is in each side I've cut a little hole with the tag creators from right. the nested set yeah and then I used the small one of the small hexagons and used the tag creator and then yeah. I've popped it in so I'm popping them inside I've got one inside there on that side don't know if the camera can get that we can see that yeah thank you Claire. And yeah. that actually is like a reinforcer oh I was just thinking you could cut all sorts of shapes and holes in the panels and have little things peeping out, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Like a mouse nibbling his way out of the egg or something. So there's tag um, creator, creators and the, the smaller octagons there on the nesting set as well, which is in the complete collection on the screen right now. They're really handy because if you you can turn any shaped uh, any shaped die into a tag then, but the thing is it's got that faux stitch detail around yes, the hole. Yes. Yeah. So it'll match, you know. Beautiful. I mean, I know you can use um, you know a punch or whatever, but my, my my director's just just he's on fire this morning. He says if you did it in orange card, yeah, you can make a pumpkin. Yeah. There's a challenge for you. We have some orange card, <laughs> but yeah. It's a, I think, it's, I think it's a great idea. Big pumpkin, Halloween face. So presumably your tag, uh, your tag creator die there to create, you know, the loop for us to put the handle through. Yeah, so I've got some, um, some fuzzy, uh, pipe cleaners. Mm -hmm. So I just put one of those in the um, through the hole. I mean, if you want something a bit more robust, you can just use some ribbon, yeah, or string. Mm. 
got about two minutes. But clean is back with us at 12 again, so yeah, if there's so any questions you've got. The same, it's the same idea. I've got, um, I've got liner pieces that will go in and cover, you know, and add a bit more strength. And then I've just got some, you know, my little base pieces to go in. And then I'll just pop the strengthener piece on there. Yeah. And then, and then it's done. So, yeah, I'll, I'll um, carry on with this and have it in the next in the next show yeah no that's great we'll, we'll remind us then to start with that so we, d we don't forget yeah fantastic that actually, that actually slipped <laughs> so it's definitely not going to be done <laughs> and don't forget if we go to uh Kleiner's facebook page Kleiner's crafty crew uh we can download the pdf which shows you the actual cutting process of um you know if, you, if you're looking at that die set and thinking I, I i don't know where to start i forgot what Kleiner said how many of these do i have to cut to create the shape well, it's eight actually, isn't it? Just, which is nice because even I can remember that. Uh, eight for the cupcake and eight. But anyway, it's there on a PDF which you can download for free as well. But yeah. it's just a reminder, yes, you know, exactly. of which pieces you need for, to, to recut for your liners. Or, yes. Yeah. yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's got some little tips on there like uh, there's actually a faux gem die in the pack. So if you don't have the gems, oh, which um, one's that then, run Kaina? out. Where's the faux gem dies? I didn't spot that. So I think it's at it, the bottom. Oh, I see, yeah. That one there. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm going to be looking out for the faux die now on, on, on the actual samples. Anyway, thank you very much, Kleiner. Thank uh, you. We'll, we'll just carry on as we are at 12, yeah? Yeah. Fabulous. Lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets for the complete collection because we are very busy because of the innovative uh, ideas that our lovely cleaner comes up with. They're fantastic, aren't they? And we don't want you to miss out. So do join us again at 12 to get some hints and tips and we'll see what's coming up next with the gorgeous Paula. Oh, let's make some gorgeous jewellery now. Uh, we've got the jewellery box hour and some stunning, stunning pieces I can see. Then we've got Jen Goodwin embroidery and then Pink Frock Crafts with Hazel. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Petrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company 
launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Well, good morning with that gorgeous music and that uh, beautiful sign that says the good, the jewelry hour. <laughs> Sorry, the words are not coming out on those jewelry box. We know that we are, have got an hour beautiful, of beautiful, delicate, intricate craftsmanship uh, here. And we are featuring Chipman Crafts at this hour. And we have got Laura here in the building with us. Hello, Hi. Laura. Hi, Paula. How are you? I'm very well and I'm very excited to work with you because it's the first time that we work together, but you have been here for a while. Yeah, we've been pretty much with Hochanda since the start. So, oh, so yeah, but we haven't worked together before. Exactly. So I'm always excited because you we have got also brand new items throughout the show as well. That's right. And the first thing that I was looking into, you know, your beautiful pieces is like we were talking about how I have got this very small wrist. And, you know, sometimes you have I pre-made bracelets, they are too big. Mm. Or sometimes it could be that there's a, 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 you know, if you are like Katie, our producer, who is a very slender and tall and Amazonic lady, uh, you wanted a longer necklace, so for instance, so we can alter those. That's right. So these designs, they're all, they always come with plenty. So if you have a larger wrist, you can make it for a larger wrist. But like you say, if you have a small wrist, you can make it just to fit Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Great. So if you wanted to alter to make it longer or shorter or, you know, the bracelets or the necklaces, there are possibilities around it. Right. The first bundle it features a pendant and the bracelet. They are the two hearts pendant and you can see it. So this is already made the, the heart element. Into. That's right. So the pendant is ready made, but you make the chain uh, with the beads and everything on it to attach to the pendant. So again, uh, if we wanted it more like like a shocker sort of length, we could alter that, couldn't we? That's right, so you can make it a lot shorter than you show there, um, but you can also see I've actually set that on the piece so it, it will actually hang lower as well if you need it to. Absolutely, you can have see it. Like, I'm just going to put it there, you can see the detail and those beads coming in. Now, the beads we are getting here, they are kind of, um, they are faceted, aren't That's they? right, so it's a bicone bead that we've used and there are two different colours in there. There's a, a really sort of shiny, uh, electroplated bicone in there and then there's the more transparent one as well. So the electroplated one is that kind of the greyish one sort of the really, uh, the really uh, silver mercury, shiny. Mercury, yeah, yeah. yeah the kind of you can see there look at that I would say it's kind of uh, I don't know it's it's 
um, a black diamond sort of look to it. Almost, yeah. It's not it's not quite silver, like you say. It's got yeah. that more sort of almost like slate or mercury it's effect. Yeah, but, yeah, absolutely. I love it. Uh, now, if if, uh, if it was a beginner, could a beginner do it? Or Yeah, most of our kits are designed for people who are just starting out in jewellery. So this one's perfect for someone who's just, just getting into it. It's a really simple design. Absolutely. So you are getting everything that you need except for the tools. That's right, you? yes. So you are getting the detailed instructions as well. Yes. You are going to, uh, Laura, you are going to demonstrate this one to begin with. I am, yes. 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 Uh, but you also mentioned that you have got lots of tutorials online uh, as well. Yes, yeah, so we're trying to get through as many of our different kits. We do full tutorials. They're all available on our Facebook page. Okay, um, fabulous. So you can go into the, the video section and see the full tutorials Indeed. there. Yeah. Uh, fabulous. 888-310 uh, is your item number. £10 or 99 pence is the price for this bundle. Moving on to the next bundle that we have got for you. Now, in this one, you have got a different different options. First of all, you have got the option to go for sets of two different colors or all eight. Now, if you are going to for all eight, they are the details on the screen because that's where the saving is. Of course, you have got a four pounds saving. If you wanted to go for a set of two, details are at the bottom of the screen and then you have got four different color options. Now, if they go for all eight, you mentioned as well that they do they come individually wrapped? They do. So if you wanted to go for all eight and you may be thinking of giving some as gifts or something like that as well, then it's already pre-packaged, ready to go with the instructions in each pack. Fabulous. Uh, so, uh, and also, uh, now, for instance, our K uh, Katie in my year, she's saying uh, she has got a lot of friends and a lot of women in her family as well. So this could be a, like almost like a friendship, uh, you know, lockdown kind of crap that you send, a, a, you know, one to each person yep. and then you all have got something that you all have made together. Yeah, or you could have an online meeting, oh, couldn't you? Exactly. And do it together, I mean, get, yeah. grab a glass of wine or something like that and yeah, have a bit absolutely. of a jewellery jewelry making party. Absolutely. Right, shall we go through the colours? Because the one that you have got on, so we start with the two first options at the very top and that way we will work it. Uh, so bronze and purple are two that go together, but remember if you go for all eight, you are going to get them all eight colours. So I love the stars in here, they're, they're beautiful colours. Yeah, we, I came across them a while ago and I was trying to have come up with a few different options on the kit, but I really like this one because it's quite delicate as well. It is. One of the things I noticed as well is that it's it has got a, a lightness to it, mm. a lightness to wear, a yeah. lightness to, but at the same time, you can feel that the stars are a little bit heavier, if you know what I mean. Yes, yeah, so the stars are actually um, plated hematite, so that's where they get the weight oh. from. So I kind of, because it's, it's, it's a weird thing to say, I know, it's very light, yeah. but you kind of feel, whenever there is a star, you kind of feel yeah, that. Yeah, I think because the rest of the bracelet is so light, like you say, you, you, you know that the stars are a really good quality. Yeah, absolutely, when you, when you touch absolutely it. gorgeous. Then we are getting everything in each bundle to create all the bracelets. Now, again, if you are like me, you have got very small wrists, you can make them shorter, and then you will have some leftovers as well. Then we have got the rainbow uh, look and the black. Now, if I had to choose one for just myself, I would uh, like a set of two. This one probably would be yeah. it. I love the rainbow. This rainbow is. is it's got it's those sort of greens and purples. It's yeah. got a bit of both in it, hasn't it? It does. And it's just kind of, I also think, for instance, my niece, I always mention my niece because she's, you know, she's just the most amazing uh, little human being. But, you know, I, she loves rainbows as well. And we have got that in common. It's kind of our thing. Mm -hmm. And and then having, you know, like she could have the rainbow one and yeah. I could have the black one. Um, because this is the other thing. It's, it doesn't have an age defining sort of thing because she's about nine 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 years old and I'm sure yeah, she would love it yeah yeah now if also look look at that I mean it's how gorgeous does it look the black I just think it's just absolutely stunning absolutely elegant so you have it uh, this one is the black and then at the bottom we have got blue and silver I cannot I'm not gonna even attempt because you know what happens I will knock everything out <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna grab the blue and here you can see there it's a beautiful I don't know how to describe this blue is it kind of a luminous blue it's a really vibrant blue vibrant, isn't yeah. it yeah 
It is. It's just kind I of. I think that one. That's my favorite color. Yeah. Well, I kind of imagine. Yeah. It's. It's. Uh, my producers agrees as well. And then you have got the silver here as well. So, oh, I'm risking it. I'm risking it and going for it. And the silver, which which makes it very classy. Maybe that's the more you know the the one that it kind of is the most how can i say it? the most versatile maybe yeah. so i think people tend to either wear silver or gold don't yeah. they obviously we've got both options there in terms yeah. of silver or gold yeah. so absolutely and then finally we have got the last option that we have got for you is the green and gold uh, now these ones remember if you go for the set of eight which is the details on the left hand side of the screen you get in one of each of those eight colors now if you wanted to do with uh, just the two the one of the pairs of details bottom of the screen and then you choose whichever option that is the gold let me grab it because I think it's it's one of those ones that is much more golden when you look at at it there can you see the gold kind of look at those gold stars <laughs> you know that. and then you have got the green as well let me grab it as well now the green has got a kind of a variation of green coming through it yeah it's almost like a tint of blue in there as yeah. well isn't it but I it's, like that one as well. Absolutely. It's just gorgeous. They are proving very popular. Remember, if you are going for the set of eight, you're getting one of each. And you have got an introductory, um, introductory price. I kind of always pronounce it in Spanish way, introductory price. Uh, we're saving four pounds. I love, I have to say, I do love the black and rainbow. Uh, that's my favorite option. What's the fav most favorite? Oh. Uh, apparently, sorry about this. I mean, I wasn't even written for the far <laughs> out one. Uh, apparently, the most option, the most popular option, is the bronze and purple. Right. The purple's. Re I think the purple's really vibrant too. You know, like we were saying, the blue is. Yeah. So the purple's got that really bright sort of color yeah. to it as well. So. Yeah. I can so see this how that one the is the one in. You can see the purple here, and then the bronze. Let me just show you that one as well. So this one is the most popular option. I think they go really well together. You can wear two together at the same you time. You could, or if you obviously because you you get both kits together, you could actually put the bronze and purple and alternate it if you oh, wanted to absolutely. as well and do two two matching. I love I love the two together, the bronze and the purple uh, together because it kind of gets that you know the coolness of the purple and the warmth of the bronze mm. as well and there. you can see how long you can make them as well yeah absolutely um, we have right if you want to go for the set of eight so you're getting one of each a zero six nine seven seven four is your item number with a four pound saving if you want yours 37 pounds and 96 pence that's what you are paying today if you want the pairs put it at the bottom of the screen and be quick to check out your baskets then we have got the knitted sparkle bracelet and next and um, we have got the same sort of way that you can buy them in pairs or the whole set in which you then of course you have got a saving of three pounds so it makes sense to go for uh, all of them now this is one of those ones that it feels so complicated to make mm. would a complete beginner that knows how to knit be able to do this it is just plain garter stitch so it's really really simple so yeah if you can knit you can make those the only Fabulous. thing I would say is that if you're used to knitting with wool most of the time, you do need to knit a little bit looser with wire. Okay. Just because it doesn't have the same flexibility. But uh, if we get time, I have a demo of that of one as well. Fabulous. So. Now, oh, of course, if you have got all of uh, the different options, so you have got the beautiful options here of the purple, I believe that's the purple and the rainbow, which is there. So you have got both options there with the purple over being there. Details for the pairs, bottom of the screen, the, on the left-hand side of the screen is the whole complete collection. Then you have got the gold and the black. Ah, uh, you know, this gold one, I'm not usually a gold, but I just kind of love, love, love. And with the black one as well, it looks so rich. Uh, it looks like proper black lace, doesn't it? Yeah, we, we worked really hard to find the right wire, color of wire to go with that because some golds can look quite brassy. But like you say, that's got a real richness to it. It does. So. It's just gorgeous. Now, if you, of course, if you also, there is another good point. If you are going for the full collection, you have got a flexi option, which means that then opens a flexi basket, which means that then you can add other items and buy them interest free in separate, in two separate installments. Then we have got the blue and the green option here. Oh, uh, the brown and silver. So shall we go like brown and silver, which is a deep brown color. There we have it. 
I just like to move it because it's just the sparkle when you move it. Suddenly, it's those beads that you have chosen, Laura. Yeah. It's just absolutely stunning. Look at that. And then we have got the blue and the green, which are the next two. And the green, again, is just a beautiful shade with all those sparkles of different mm. hues of green. A little bit of blue coming through as well. Just a little bit, yeah. It's just, oh, I love that. Look at that. And then, of course, we have got the deeper blue in here. Absolutely stunner. Right, uh, 486583 is your item number. You have got a three pound saving, 40 pounds and 96 pence. Remember that flexi buy option to spread the cost in interest free payments. 20 pounds and 48 pence would be all that you would be paying if you're a Freedom member. If you are not a Freedom member, you pay PMP on the first installment. Remember that you can go for sets of two, so the pairs are details at the bottom of the screen, and then you choose whichever option you want to go for. Now you can have the matching necklace uh, in three different colors we have got here for you. So that's the crochet uh, necklace. Now is it a different type of um, kind of how you call it, the crochet point then? Yes, yeah, so the, the bracelets that you saw there were knitted, whereas the necklaces are done with, with a crochet hook okay. and it just uses chain stitch. So again, great for beginners, great for someone who's maybe not that experienced in crochet. It does just use chain stitch and then you plait the strands together. So okay. it's a very simple design. And now one of, I'm going to move it again because I wanted a little bit of that kind of the beads coming through it so you have got that reflection of light. But what I wanted to ask you is what sort of crochet size do you need for this? So the hook is a three and a half millimeter hook. Okay. So it's, it's not a particularly small one. Yeah. Um, and you can sort of vary between anywhere between three and four, really, as long as you've got something around about that size, you will get the right the right effect. Ah, there we go. Just twelve ninety nine is your price. Your pro your options. The one that you're seeing on the screen is the smoky silver. Uh, then we also have got the bronze uh, golden uh, option. Ah, bronze goddess. Uh, I'm going to, uh, and then emerald green. The bronze goddess is absolutely well, all of them. But you, this is just like. Look at the sparkle that that has. When I think because it? it's on black wire, because the beads have got that brown oh, and gold yeah. coming through them, it shows them off even more on that one. Yeah, I mean, I kind of move it. And then the uh, amazing uh, greens as well. Look at that. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. Look at the sparkle in that. Right, twelve ninety nine is all you're paying for the emerald green or the bronze goddess or the smoky silver. Those ones are your three color options. Zero six five four nine nine is your item number. We have got a lot more on the website, but we have, let's have a look at the color wire uh, because that of course if you want to make your own creations and you have got here the chipmunk uh, crafts uh, ten, uh, 10 sets or 10 uh, spools of 0.3 mil colored copper or craft wire so we can cra crochet and knit with this that's right so that's the thickness that we've used in the kits Fabulous. But obviously if you you've seen the kit or maybe want to have a go on your own then the wires there are uh, 29 pounds and 99 pence is your price uh, six five three three six nine is your item number now if you wanted some seed beads we do have a set of those ones as well you maybe have other patterns maybe you want to just add them into other projects and 9.99 is your price 568313 is the, uh, the item number 10 packs of those hex seed beads beautiful colors as well right and all right would you would you like to show us the first demo yeah so i'm going to show you how to make the pendant and necklace set now it's the same principle with the hematite star bracelet yeah. as well so when you make your link it's exactly the same principle so once i've shown one Fabulous. you'll be able to apply yeah. the same principle but um yeah so the kit itself comes with these which are eye pins yes uh, you've got the beads in there as well so that's just a selection you can see in this one we've got the sort right. of more transparent Absolutely. ones yep. and then the silver ones we've got our um jump rings and then we've got our clasp and then obviously we've got the pendant there as well for the right. for going in the the, the necklace. So basically to make our link we're going to take one of our eye pins and um, the tools that we need for this one we're going to need a pair of cut wire cutters and we're also going to need a pair of round nose pliers. So basically to start off with what I'm going to do is just thread one of the beads onto the eye pin like so. Now there are some small seed beads in the kit as well and if you want to you can pop a, seed, a, li a little seed bead on either side. Yeah. 
um, but then we basically now just cut the wire just probably a little bit less than a centimeter away from the actual bead itself there okay. like that I'm just going to cut that. I'm just going to hold the wire while I cut it just so it doesn't go yeah. pinging off across the studio yeah. okay so we've then got that end of the wire there like so and what we need to do now is we want we want to make a small loop in this wire so to start off with I'm just going to take the pliers and I'm just going to bend that wire away from me okay. like so so you want it to be at about just over a 45 degree angle away from the actual bead itself and then holding the bead in place just get the round nose pliers to the end of the wire and just start to pull it back round towards you to form a loop now when you do that you do need to make sure that the wire the wire does actually come back and touch itself completely mm -hmm. um, because if you don't once you attach the findings it might potentially come undone oh, and that's okay. the last thing that you want to happen when you've actually made the bracelet so that's one of our links there yep so I'll just show that again just to make one of the other links just so that you've got a better idea so I'm just going to use one of the clear beads this time just pop that on the eye pin like so get the cutters and just give it a cut holding on to that end just to make sure that it doesn't go flicking off anywhere to be found at a later date yeah. now if you are using smaller beads at some point in the future you can actually keep these ends ah, yeah, of and make your own eye pins again by putting a loop on both yeah. sides yeah. Um, never there's never any waste there is there? Those. never any waste no. <laughs> and the thing also that is you know if you make your own jewelry I mean I have got things that I have ma I made when I was 18 years old mm. And they are still fabulously wearable today. I know. And the great thing is if you've made it yourself and you go out and wear it and someone compliments yeah. you on it, you just feel great, don't you? Because yeah. you're like, I'm, I'm, I made that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and another point that my producer just made it is just like, well, it's also the ability to fix things. Like yes. if something, like you can buy a store-bought necklace, but it needs fixing because it has, you know, it has come and done. So That's you right, yeah, so you can, you've, you've normally got the tools as exactly. well, which half, half of the issue sometimes is having the right yeah, tools absolutely. to be able to do it, isn't and it? So. Regarding tools, um, you know, what, which ones exactly you are using? So these ones here, um, it's just a set of wire cutters. Yeah. They don't need to be too fancy because the wire yeah. itself isn't that hard. If you're using something like memory wire, yeah. you want a really good quality pair of yeah. cutters to be able to get through the, the wire, but this particular wire um, yes. just uses standard. Uh -huh. And then I'm using the round nose pliers. Fabulous. Um, and, and that's so that they're easier yeah. to make the actual loop loop shape Absolutely. with those. Have a look on the website. Uh, you probably will find a set of jewellery tools there. All right, thank you. No problems. And then what, so what I've done earlier on, yes. Blue Peter style, yes. is I've actually already made most of the chain and then I'm just going to add the last couple of bits on now. So using these, um, the rings, these ones are actually not too bad to open. You should be able to find that you can open these with your, your fingers, but some you sometimes need a tool. So I'm just going to open that up there like that. Okay. And then just thread on one of the links, put it on a little bit, and then just open it up again. So it's almost like threading a key onto a key ring at this point oh, now. Yeah. And then again, just pop that next one on there like so. Okay. And just make sure it is completely on there like yeah. that. Okay, and then you just continue on. So I'll just do another one there now. And then finally, once you've done that, you just need to attach your lobster clasp once you've made it long enough. So again, just pop one on. And then again, open it up and just pop that oh, next probably. one on there, like so. Sometimes it just needs to open it up just that little bit more. There we go, that's it on there now. And then just make sure you spin your ring yeah. right round so that it's, it's, it's like a key chain like a yes, key so ring it's like putting a key on it on a key yeah. ring um and the reason we use these rather than the the other you get other rings don't you the, these are split rings but you right, get the yeah. jump rings which just yes, open out true, so yeah. sometimes when you use those um if you catch it it will if, if you give it a good tug yeah. it will come undone and, and again you don't want to lose the piece of jewelry yeah. whereas these can be a little bit trickier to to get on to start with 
but once they're actually in place, they're much more secure. That's it. It can't it can't come off. It can't come undone yeah. or anything like it's also that. Also, with a jump ring, it's it, once you open it, if you twist it the wrong way as well, it never goes. That's right. So the, it is a bit of a knack with a with yeah. a jump ring just to get it to actually close up completely. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons why we've used these in this kit. Mm -hmm. Um, and then what we've done with this is we've actually joined some of the, the split rings together just to make almost like a little extender chain. You know, if you wanted just, you weren't quite sure of the wrist size that you're making it for. If you join some of these together, it almost makes it like a little, yeah. a little bit of an extender. So I'm just going chain. to join these on one end and then we just need to join the lobster clasp on the other end. And then that's it basically, that's me showing you how to do it then. So it's very, very simple design. And don't forget, this is a, it's exactly the same principle to do this yeah. as it is to make the, um, the hematite ones as well. Indeed. So I'm just going to turn this around here like this. This is the bracelet, obviously, that I'm making. Mm -hmm. To do the pendant, it's exactly the same method, um, but you just make two lengths. I'll just pop that on there, and then I'll just pop the lobster clasp on as well. Okay. So there's the lobster. I'll just open that up a little bit again like so but yeah the so to make the actual chain we just make two lengths exactly the same length there we go that's the bracelet oh, yeah. there now and then this is the chain so I've made two lengths there like so mm -hmm. exactly the same and then what we're basically going to do now is just attach both of those lengths onto the pendant so I can carry on doing that if there's anything else that you want to, to do. Of course, I could give a reminder of the details of the pendant, uh, the two hearts pendant and bracelet set. Uh, you are getting both uh, the enough material to create the pendant like uh, Laura was showing. I love the way that kind of goes in. It's just like such a beautiful, delicate, but it has got that intricate element as well. And then you are getting that gorgeous uh, pendant as well in here. And you are getting the bracelet as well. So I'm just thinking, I mean, this is like a b beautiful Mother's Day present if you make it or for somebody to, you know, kind of, that's for 10.99. Yeah, just to let them know that you're thinking about them, I think, really, as well. So it's a, it's a, a lovely little set. I mean, I've bought things like this from shops in the past, yeah. um, quite similar designs. Um, but I think the fact that you've made it yourself as well just gives that a little bit more meaning behind it. Yeah, absolutely. Apparently, um, Mother's Day is the 14th of March, so okay. plenty of time to do it. It's actually my mum's birthday, so probably. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> two for one that yeah, day. Yeah, two for one, yeah. Uh, and Mother's Day is in Spain, it's anyways another day, so. No, it doesn't. But then you will get it and have got plenty of time to make it as well for uh, for Mother's Day. So. That's right. Yeah. I mean, we we like. I'd love to be able to say we'd get it out in time for Valentine's Day, but, but you just don't know with the yeah, post at the so moment, they, do you? Uh, That's so. what I do want to mention. <laughs> that like, you know, it's, it's it's amazing that Royal Post Day, which, uh, you know, Royal Mail, which are usually is fabulous, but lately, um, you know, it's also fabulous, but obviously, you know, a little bit slower. Um, I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> Other I think they've had all sorts going available. against them, though, yeah. haven't they, with the weather yeah, and, and absolutely. everything like that as well so yeah, the, yeah so that's and that's, the, that's the pendant there now I've attached both sets both sets of chain there and that's the pendant now ready to ready to yeah wear. absolutely gorgeous and also this is one something that you can once that you crack it on like the, the system mm. it's something that you can do in stages as well isn't it that's right yes yeah. so, I mean I tend to make all my links first yeah but if you wanted to, you could sort of do it as you go and join it as you go. Absolutely. But uh, yeah. and you have got instructions for that one as well. As well, at ten pounds and ninety nine pence is all you are paying for the everything that you need to create. I mean, I just put it a little bit offset. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why not? Yeah, no, why not? But you can imagine. No, you can do it whichever you wanted to do, to whichever way you want to do it, to do. Eight 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 three one zero is your item number. And also, I'm thinking that if you have got also um, other jewelry making items you can mix and match sometimes right so for instance if i wanted the pendant with maybe just a chain and then just do the uh a necklace with all the beads so that's, that's right yeah so are there some we've got some pearls and things like that on Absolutely. the on the site 
um, if you wanted to add some pearls in there and, yeah. instead. There's lots of ideas that you Absolutely. could do with it. I just love the beads in here, the pendant, and of course the fact that you can do a bracelet and a pendant. A 10 .99 for both of those ones. Now, then we have got the star bracelet. We have got different options for you. If you want them, all the different color options, we have got that bundle of eight. Uh, now, you are getting the all of eight and individually packed. Like we were saying, you could be a little present, so for somebody who will wants to make them themselves, or it could be your present for you to make each one of them and then give them to different people. Or make them all eight and wear them all eight. Why not? I mean, you can wear four in each uh, wrist. Uh, because they're so, so, it's, it's so super light. So what I was thinking is, for instance, I do like the purple and the purple and bronze in here, so you can see how w well they co coordinate, and you can see them here. Now, uh, these ones are very popular. Uh, the purple and the uh, bronze are very, very popular. So if you want to go for this option of just the two, the details are at the bottom of this uh, bottom. A quarter of the stock of the purple and bronze has already gone. Now, r remember that you're getting emmatite, uh, beautiful stars, so therefore they have got that weightiness to it. But it's not weightiness because they are super light bracelets, but you can feel the quality of the stars. It's, it's a weird kind of... I know it's a misnomer to say, oh, they are super light, but then you can see the heaviness. It's just light, but you can feel the quality of the stars. And I love how when you can I move move them, you can see kind of the rainbow. This is the rainbow and the black option in here. Uh, again, it's included into the um, a set of eight. And then we are moving down the bottom, bottom line. Yeah, so we are starting the the green and gold we have got here. Oh, apparently the bronze and purple and the green, the, uh, which one is the silver and blue are very the most popular ones. The ones on the screens are the gold and green. And then we are moving on to the blue and silver in here, which are neck and neck. So a quarter of the stock also gone for the silver and uh, blue options. If you wanted just to go for a set of two, details bottom of the screen, 10, uh, 10 pounds and 49 pence. These probably are, I would say, the ones that, like for instance, I always wear silver colored jewelry. Um, that kind of, the blue goes super well with it as well, doesn't it? Yeah, and like we said earlier, if you really wanted to, you could mix and match. So rather than making one silver and one blue, you could make two with the silver and the blue together. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Right, if you want yours, uh, you have got the details on the screen uh, for the set of a four, uh, sorry, a set of two at the bottom, set of eight, left hand side of the screen. So you have got all of them. All right, if you want to go for all of them, you have got an introductory price. You're saving four pounds, 37 pounds and 96 pence. 20% uh, of the stock has gone for the full set. Right, Laura, are you ready for the next demo? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to show, I'm going to show you how to make that one that we've just been oh, speaking about right. there. As, as I mentioned, it's exactly the same technique, but just in case anyone missed it, we'll okay. just, sort of go through it again because I did do quite a quick yeah. demo. So again, it's the same sort of idea where we've got the eye pins, uh, we've got the hematite stars themselves That's in there. Yep, yeah. yeah. We've got the, these are actually slightly smaller bicone beads than we used in the, the last kit. And then we've got these lovely little seed beads as well. So. What exactly are the sort of uh, beads? I mean, what? The faceted ones. Yes. They're called bicones because bicone. it's, yeah, cause it's almost like two cones have been ah, put see. together and that's why yeah. it's got the, the facets on it. So yeah, um, I use them quite a lot in, in my designs. So in things like one of the other knitted kits that we do, yeah. I've got them in there as well. So, uh, but yeah, so we've got these and then we've got the stars as well. And the idea being is if I just show you on here is that we do one link with the star and then one link with the seed beads and the, the bicone beads on there as well. So again, it's just exactly the same idea as we did before. So I'm just going to thread and the, it will actually just go straight through. There is a hole drilled yeah. already through the middle of the star there. And then it's the same tools again. So it's the wire cutters oh, yeah. and the round nose pliers for this one as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so again, just cut, cut your wire holding onto that end as you do it. Just give it a good squeeze there, pop your end out of the way. And then again, just bend that wire away from you a little bit, about 45 degrees if you can. And then grab the end of the wire with the round nose pliers. And you might need to do it in a couple of stages, but just bring it back round 
towards you to form a complete loop. So if you see there. By the way, the blue that, and silver option are very busy for that one. If you want to, please do check out your baskets. I think it's approaching 50% of the stock has already gone. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, it's a, that's a fabulous co uh, combination. All of them are, you mm. know, but it's just the silver. Yeah, I mean, we've, try we've tried to kind of mix it up a bit in terms yeah. of the combinations that we've put together. Because um, I think if you try and put something like black and silver together, yeah everyone likes black and silver so if you kind of mix it yeah, up a little bit and put absolutely. blue with the silver instead mm -hmm. um, so on this one what I'm doing is I'm just threading on a seed bead first yeah. and then get one of the bicones and just thread that on and then finally another seed bead okay just pop that on there like so so you can yeah. see there oh, now yeah, we've got perfect. like yeah. that yeah. okay and then again just give that a cut just a bit less than a centimetre yeah. away. And then pop your end out of the way and then again just get your pliers and basically just again away from you and then grab it. Don't go too close to the edge with the pliers either. You want to go just a few millimetres down because otherwise your loop will be too small. And again just bring it back round towards you there making sure that it does actually completely touch so you can see that there now like that okay yeah. and then it's the same idea again where we do just fasten these together with the the jump rings so again we just open these okay. up yeah and I'm just use I've just used my nail yeah. there just to go in between it some people do have you can get split ring tools and all sorts but you can um, use like an old credit card or something like a library card or something like yeah, that. yeah I mean I, I sometimes use um, like a, a pair of scissors or a knife or something if the split rings are a little bit trickier yeah. but these particular ones are actually not too not too bad to work with yeah. some split rings they end up pinging across the the room when as soon as you open it up it goes flying away yeah. somewhere else so and then you the Hoover gets it at some point normally, but um, but yeah. So again, just opened it up with my nail there, yeah. and use the pliers just to go in through it a little bit better, and then again, just pop it on like your threading keys onto a key ring. I'm just going to open that up a little bit more now. So yes, and then to finish off, I've done it in exactly the same way where I've put a lobster clasp on one end, and then I've joined some of the split rings together just to get um, a bit of an extender chain there as well. Oh. But that's that now, basically now. That look at that, Ready how gorgeous does it look? I also was thinking that, for instance, if you have got some extra ones, you could do like um, earrings, like at the start kind of falling down. Like yes, yeah, so and spot. you could even use the eye pins for yeah. that as well. So if you actually had an earring hook, because uh, I yeah. think that there's something like enough to make 15 links within the kit, yeah. but most wrists will only use 12, oh, maybe even less. Yeah. So the will, if you wanted to and you planned it out, you could probably keep a couple of the stars aside yeah. and then just like you say, just thread it onto the eye pin there yeah. and then maybe a couple of other little beads yeah. on top and just have it like a little, a little that, dropper yeah. earring. I, yeah. love, I, no, I love that really idea, that yeah, idea. it's great. Yeah. Uh, just a simple way that you can use what you have and then even have a little bit more as well. Uh, now, of course, it comes with instructions. The kids, it comes with the full instructions. You can see in here, I love how you have got the finished sample in the picture, but also exactly what to do. Remember, the shows are online for 60 days. Uh, of course, Chipmunk Crafts on Facebook have got a lot of different tutorials as well. So you can refer to Laura's demos or whenever you need them as well. You have got the amazing links in here as well as the eye pins. And then you have got that beautiful emmatite uh, stars with the uh, bicone uh, beads in there that have got that reflective nature of the multifaceted uh, sh shape of the bead. Now, if you wanted to go for different options, you have got the bronze and the purple. That's one of the options, very popular for that one. 50% uh, has gone off that option on its own. Details on the left-hand side of the screen, then you just have to quote if you are giving us a call or on the website, kind of select whichever option. Then we have got, oh, again, uh, rainbow, <laughs> again, <laughs> uh, rainbow and black uh, options in here. I'm gonna put them both side by side because I really like this coolness and for this ones and they just absolutely stunning so you have got these two options and uh, then a the bottom uh, left hand side uh, we have got the gorgeous beautiful green and gold option there and did you have got those ones together 
10.49 is what you're paying for the set of two. And then finally, we have got the blue and silver, which is, uh, you know, is it 50% as well? It is 50% of the stock already gone. If you want your blue and silver uh, to wear the stars in the in, the, in your bracelet, uh, your item number is 053355. 10 pounds and 49 pence for set of, of uh, you know, two. But if you want them, all four of them, you have got an introductory prize, a saving of four pounds, all eight of them, sorry. Right, moving on to the next a bundle. Here we have got the knitted bracelet, and we have got again the same option, well, the same configurations that you can go for all eight of them, having a saving or a flexi buy option, which means that then you can add other items and flexi buy them, or you can go for set of pairs. Now, so if the first set we have got the purple and green, uh, I just absolutely adore the green one in this one because it's those shades of green mm -hmm. of. Uh, you know, blue, and then of course the purple is a rich, beautiful purple there. Now, these ones are, of course, that, the one that I was mentioning, green and the purple. Then if you want to go for the option on uh, black and gold, remember, all of the colors are included in the bundle of eight. It's only if you wanted to go for just two of them that then you have to select whichever option you want to. This is definitely my favorite. I love that gold. I just, usually I don't go for gold in jewelry, but this one is just absolutely stunning, especially with the black one beside it. Then at the bottom, we have got more of the options. So we have got the brown and the silver in there. Uh, now, remember, they come in the set of eight or there are options to go for. If you just wanted the brown and the silver, 10.99 is what you are paying. It comes in with everything that you need except the, for the tools to create the uh, the two bracelets. And then the final option that we have got is the blue and the green in there. Uh, am I right thinking that green is slightly different to the other uh, green? So yeah, so the, in, in the other one, the bead, it's the beads that are different. So ah. the, the one that you said... Sorry, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's the rainbow. Right, so yeah. that is uh, my mistake no, because okay. the wire is green. Yeah, the wire is the same, but the yeah. beads in the, the top combination that you showed have actually got that ah, purple tinge right. to them as well. So basically you will not have two. If you go for all eight, you won't have any repeats. This one will be the rainbow with the green wire and this is the green. Apologies for that. It's just I saw the green wire and I kind of gave it. And then, of course, you have got the blue one. Right. If you flexify, 20 pounds and 48 pence is all you would be paying today, uh, if, especially if you're a Freedom member. Now, if you don't flexify, 40 pounds and 96 pence is your price. 486583 is your item number. Then we have got the crochet necklace. Uh, can I, I don't know if I can try. Can I try one of them? Uh, the director, yeah, is, is it okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I'll try the silver one because I'm just not going to close it. But look at that. I just absolutely, I think it's just so much light into here. Um, now, it's a big, it's, you know, like if you're wearing a, like a black jumper, mm. that's all you need, something like this, that kind of, you know, it's just sparkling, it's just gorgeous, it's just beautiful. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Right, if you want to go for... Um, one of these knitted uh, crochet, sorry, uh, necklaces. Your details are on the screen. You can see them there. The bronze uh, goddess you have got there. The uh, smoky silver, which is the one that I tried on, and then finally the uh, you have got the emerald green, which is a proper emerald green in there as well. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Zero six five four nine nine is your item number there. Right, moving on to craft wire. Now, uh, if you want to go for a set of ten craft wire. I believe, Laura, like you mentioned, is that's exactly the same one that you use in your pieces, isn't it? That's right. So if you were thinking of doing either knitting or crocheting with them, one of those reels will probably make about three knitted bracelets okay, yep. um, or one of the crocheted necklaces. So okay. you're going to be able to make quite a few pieces out of that pack. So imagine, so ten necklaces we yeah. could make with this yeah. and each one of different colors and of course if you want uh, beads we have got those ones as well so if you want a craft wired set of 10 different beautiful colors 29 pounds and 99 pence is your price 653369 is your item number and then we have got the set of beads that i mentioned just shortly ago these ones have got like beautiful they are hex seed beads what exactly is a hex seed bead? so it's actually a, he a hexagonal shape oh i see and they're the beads that we've used in the the crochet necklace there so again because they've got that hexagon shape and they've got sort of facets onto them they will catch the light a little bit more than just a normal round seed oh. bead would do 
It makes a lot of sense. Five six eight three one three is your item number. Nine ninety nine is your prize. Uh, absolutely glorious uh, beads in their beautiful colours as well. So if you added that to the set of the wires, then you can make your own bracelets and of course your own crochet necklaces right on the website we can find everything that we have seen in today as well as everything that you need here as well for your jewelry making right uh, Laura uh, are you ready for the next time I can be yes all right <laughs> <laughs> so next I'm going to demonstrate how to make the knitted um, bracelet fabulous just give you a quick demo on that one um, so what I've done is I've actually thread the beads onto the wire to start with because um, I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me thread thread quite a few beads on. It's not uh, okay. it's like watching paint dry, but yeah, I've done that bit already. Yeah. And then the needles that we're using for this one are actually a little bit smaller than we've used in some of the previous right. kits. Yeah. So these are 2.25 millimeter knitting needles. Right. I've got double-ended ones, but don't worry about that. You, they don't need to be. This yeah. is just the just what I have um, sitting around. So basically, to start off with on this. Just going to tie the wire around the needles um, just to hold it in place. Yeah. And then as I mentioned earlier on, it is it's just plain knit. Yeah. So I'm just going to cast on seven stitches to start off with. Um, just keeping the stitches a little bit looser than you would do with with wool. Yeah. So you can see there I'm not I'm not going to try and tighten it up too much. So again. Just bring that through. Now everyone's got their own sort of casting on method, haven't they? Right. I think it depends on how you were taught when you were younger. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to do this bit quite quickly. And then I'll show you how to actually incorporate the beads and things like that in there. So it's casting on seven stitches in this particular design. Yeah. Okay. And then what you would do normally, I won't do it at the moment, what you would do normally is just knit two plain rows to start off with. Okay. Just so that your findings have actually got something to to stick on to without there being any beads Absolutely. in the way. So if yeah, that that makes sense because if we had beads in here, beads that would straight make away, it then bulky. they would just catch on the finding when you yeah. attach it and and possibly break. So that Absolutely. so to actually put the beads on, just going it's just going to be plain knit. Yeah. I'm going to put a bead on every third stitch. So yeah. it's just plain knit. So one, two. Okay, and then on this third stitch now, pop your needle through to start your stitch off like yeah. that. And then get one of the beads that we threaded on earlier on and bring it right up to your needle yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And then just carry on with your stitch. Yeah. Okay, and that's your bead in place then. Yes, yes. So I'm just going to do that every third stitch like I say. So again, one, two, yeah. and then on the third one, yeah. just pop your needle through. Bring a bead up like that again and then just carry on with your stitch. Yeah. Then you've got one left over so that counts as your first yeah. stitch. So it's one, okay, and then turn your knitting round and this next stitch is number two, two, okay, and yeah, then, that makes sense, yep, yeah. and then again pop your needle through to start your stitch off. Bring a bead up so it's right next to your needle like that and then just carry on with your stitch okay mm -hmm. so you're basically going to keep doing that um, until you end up with something that looks hopefully wow a little like that yeah okay now sometimes you tend to find that your edges might get a little bit you they might not be as neat as that but because it's wire all you do is just give it a little bit of a shape after yeah. so after each row just give it a little bit of a straighten up um, and just make it nice and neat if you find that it's not quite as neat as, as this one here. Yeah. Um, so again, if we've got to the end there now, and we basically want to make that so that it's just about wide enough to go all the way round the wrist. Okay, so I would probably do a couple more rows here now. Uh -huh. And then we want to probably leave it about a centimetre shorter because the finding actually takes up yeah. that extra gap there. Um, and you don't want it to be, some people don't like their jewellery to be too loose. Absolutely. Either. Not, yeah. So again, well, it's I just... I was thinking, I mean, something I kind of, again, completely wrong, but I again are thinking uh, earrings, just a little bit, like maybe say, you know, five feet, five centimetres or two inches. Yeah. Like, that would be quite a spectacular, wouldn't it? Quite, you it know, would, yeah. Like you say, just to do a small piece. 
Um, you could maybe even do it a little bit narrower than yeah, this, absolutely. so maybe yeah. only put on four stitches. Now, I have another question, which really maybe is probably completely wrong, but especially I'm thinking a little, you know, like we do a lot of sewing bags and things mm -hmm. like that. If you wanted to attach one strip of that onto a flap of a bag, yep. Uh, could you do that? You could, yeah. You could just knit it like this, and yeah. then just basically just so, sit, stitch yeah. it, stitch it on as a as an embellishment, yeah. Because I was Definitely. thinking, or even, um, well, I'm not sure if the wire is is washable. Would it be washable? Uh, it would be hand washable. So, so that would be, for instance, if you have got a um, a t-shirt or something, not a t-shirt, but a jumper or something yeah. like that. If you want to create the neck a little bit of definitely. Beef. I mean, one of the things I've always wanted to do, but I've just not quite got round to it yet is to do something a bit bigger and do a clutch bag. Oh, yeah. With a little bit of fabric inside. Yeah. But could you imagine that on a night out with a, as, a, as a clutch yeah. bag? It would just sparkle, Absolutely. wouldn't it? So, uh, but yeah, I've just, just not quite done it yet. Yeah. So all I'm doing now is I'm just, I've just knitted two plain rows now, because obviously I mentioned that you need to do two plain rows at the start. Um, so I'm doing two plain rows at the end as well. Yeah. And then you would... Normally, you can just cast off if you want to, as you normally would. Yeah. But because it's wire, um, what you can actually do now is just cut the wire like that. Yeah. Okay, let me just move this out of the way a little bit. And then you can actually just take, take your needle out and the stitches will actually stay in place. Of course. If you, did that, if you did that with wool at this point in time now, you'd really be panicking, yeah, wouldn't you? Because cause you'd be like, <gasps> dropped all my stitches. But yeah, because it's wire, what you can do, if you don't really like casting off, yeah. is you can basically now just loop that wire back round through oh. the loops just to catch it all in place. Could, you, do, ca could you cast them off if you wanted to? Yeah, you can, if you want to, you can just cast off as you would normally. But, um, but as I say, some people don't like yeah, casting don't, off, you know. so this is just another method for I, those that don't. So. I remember the one time that we tried to knit, my sister and I, I mine was completely a disaster. And <laughs> she was doing really, really well until it came to casting off. <clears throat> so since then, she's like, I'm not <laughs> knitting because of the casting off. So I completely understand that fear. So she'd be, all, she'd be all right with this one yeah, then, because she could just do it this way. So what I'm going to do now is basically just tidy up that so that the wire is now back to the middle. Yeah. of the piece and then in the kit itself we've got these uh, which are called ribbon ends and they've okay. just got very small teeth along yeah. the edge there and we yeah. do use these in quite a lot of our kits as well yeah. and the idea being then is what I've done is again in the kit you've got the split ring and you've got the lobster clasp so I've just attached those together again in the same way that I did earlier on with the others yeah. and then just put a, a split ring on the other side and then basically just pop that over the edge of your wire like so yeah just make sure you catch all that wire in there and then just get a pair of pliers now obviously with pliers yeah. just make sure they don't have teeth on them because if they do have teeth they're going to mark Lim. the finding yeah, and if the pliers that you do have have teeth then you could actually put a bit of cardboard yeah. between the pliers and the finding if you yeah. wanted to mm -hmm. I'm just going to give that a good squeeze down now on that side and on that side and then just make sure it's really, really tight yeah. on there. And because it's got those teeth now, yeah. it actually holds that quite securely That's in right, place. Yeah. Absolutely. And then on the other side there, it's exactly the same. Just do that, trim the wire yeah. like so. And then again, pop that other finding on there. Yeah. Give it a really good squeeze down. Just nice and firm. Yeah. And that again is your bracelet ready to wear. So, Fun. as you mentioned earlier on, for someone who's can knows how to knit, Absolutely. you would actually be able to make that one really nice and simple. And now, how long does it take to knit the whole thing? To knit the whole thing, I'd say if it's your first go at knitting with wire, probably about an hour and a half. That's all. Yeah, just while you get used to the tension. Yeah. Um, I normally do these in around forty-five minutes to an hour, just because wow. I've done so. I've done so many of them now. Yeah. But yeah, about an hour and a half for your first that's, one. That's amazing. Thank mm. you so much, Maura, for showing that. Remember that you have got a different options. If you want to go for a set of two, you have got four different color options. If you want to go for all eight color options you can have them uh, but also you are also getting a further saving and you also get in the option to flexi buy which means that you can pay in interest-free payments you pay half today and half next month which makes it so much more affordable
Now, the options, the color options, we have got duos. We have got the rainbow and the purple here. Uh, I call it green before because it has got the green wire, but it was my mistake because the rainbow beads, they, are they hematite as well, I guess, well, these ones? Uh, no, they're not, no. But they look like it. They do, <laughs> they yeah. Very they similar. do, yeah. They're absolutely stunning. Uh, now, if this is the most popular option. Uh, if you wanted to go for the purple and rainbow, do check out your baskets for that. The details bottom of the screen for the pairs. Then we have got the black and gold. That's definitely my favorite. I mean, it looks luxurious. It looks expensive. It looks... And again, that sort of thing that, um, you know, you could... Uh, so they're, they're around a calf as well. That could be really nice. Uh, there are so many different options for these, how to wear them and how to design them. Uh, then you have got at the bottom, we have got the, the I believe, the brown and the silver options. I'm going to grab it here through here. That's safer here from the underneath, the hidden, the hidden uh, opening there. Uh, and you can see the silver, absolutely gorgeous. I love that. It's like a snowdrops in there. Yeah. Uh, right. And then finally, we have got the green and the blue, a deep blue. I love that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. All right. So that would be another option uh, for if you want a pair. Uh, the bottom of the screen, $10.99 is your price. But if you want them, all of them, you can have them and you have got that introductory pay price, saving £3 and also that flexible option. 486583 is your item number. Then, of course, if you want to go for the star bracelets, we have got, again, the same options of going for all eight of them or going for sets of two. Now, if you go for sets of two, the options that you have got is the very, very pop again. <laughs> oh. Seriously, oopsie doopsie, that's my way of saying it. And then we have got the bronze and the purple option here. And you can see the gorgeous color, you know, the, the amazing warmth of the bronze and the purple as well. Then we have got the option of the, my favorite, the red. <laughs> oopsie doopsie. Uh, and then we have got, no, you stay there. <laughs> Just leave it, it's fine. <laughs> We're near the end now. <laughs> oh, right, it's just like, it's like you behave. And then, uh, we have got the rainbow and the black one as well, in the options here. Uh, and then we have got the bottom options. Uh, let me show, I just kind of, uh, the bottom left, so the gold and green. Uh, I'm just going to go in and try. Uh, <laughs> so we have got the green and gold in here. Let's put them together so you can see it. And then finally, uh, the most popular one, which is the uh, silver and blue. And this is creating a mess of the pack shot, but you can see there. Uh, right, so check out your baskets, whatever, whichever option. Thank you so much, Laura. Do you know when you are back? Uh, we're back on Tuesday, the 6th of April. All right, so we look forward to that visit. Uh, stay tuned, though, because we have got beautiful embroidery after the break. And, of course, much more here at Hotanda. Well, we have got Jed Goodwin Embroidery with Fiona. Then I'm back with Hazel Pink Frog Crafts at 11 and then at 12, another look at Clay Palmer One Day Special. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work. And at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please 
Join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Morris is best known as the 19th century's most celebrated designer and a key figure in the arts and crafts movement. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of printed fabrics from the archives of William Morris at fantastic prices. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. A very good morning to you. Uh, we've got a fabulous show now, and uh, I think the last time this lovely lady was with us was November time. I've not had the pleasure, but I have had the pleasure this morning of looking at all the amazing embroidery that is on this counter. So we are going to Skype uh, our lovely guest this morning. Her name is Jen Goodwin, and she trained at the Royal School of Needlework. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. <laughs> Do you know, I'm, I honestly did not know there was such a thing as the Royal School of Needlework. I mean, this is fabulous. How are you? I'm well this morning. Good. And, and this Royal School of Needlework, where, where, where does it exist? Because this is where you train. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I, as I say, I'm at the Royal School. It's been for its 150th anniversary this year next year. It's been around for a very long time. And um, it's based at Hampton Court Palace, so that's oh. where I train each. And outside of lockdown, obviously. Um, and it's also where I assess students when I'm not running my own business. My word, and I see that uh, you're down there in Wimbledon in the heart of picturesque Dorset, is that right? Yes, yeah, that's where I have my usual studios in Wimbledon. I'm from home today, but yeah, oh. I'm about eight months. It's lovely down here, picturesque. Beautiful scenery. 
Oh, fabulous. And I noticed you've been, you know, embroidering, uh, you know, for years and you started when you were younger because it's here in your lovely book. I was reading all about you this morning. Um, <laughs> yes. When, how old were you? When it, was it you were 16? Did I read or younger? I started stitching around seven. Um, so almost basically. younger. Yeah. Um, and ended up at the Royal School when I was 20. So it, it was some real build up from cross stitch into other techniques, black work. I tried gold work, cruel work. So some of the other techniques probably ended up there and started my training. Fantastic. Yes, I don't know where I got 16 from because it clearly says here by the age of seven. And then uh, my mother, however, disagreed. We we found the Royal School of Net uh, Needlework uh, and you went there in September. It's fantastic. The, you've got, I mean, there's so many different stitching techniques, but you're no, known for your beautiful um, silk shading. I mean, I, I've got to point this out, first of all, uh, in this first kit, which is stunning. And we'll come to this book, which is already selling like hotcakes, 10% already gone. But this is our first project. And you, you can see in your pieces how you really focus on that, that silk shading, that incredible detail. It's like looking at a, a, a painting, Jen. Tell me a little bit about the curled leaf silk shading kit. Uh, this is currently my favourite kit. Um, I love how much shape is in this one. Uh, silk shading can sometimes be known as painting with a needle and you are using your needle and thread to create shape, dimension, all the colour. So you're changing the angle of your stitches and the colour of your stitches to create the movement throughout the piece. It's, it's absolutely stunning and, you know, it's incredibly detailed. Um, the, the, you can see that shading, you can see that curvature, and it does look like, you know, your needlework looks like the brush stroke of, of a painting, you know, like an, an oil painting. So you, you're really drawn into to, to trying to discover how you've created so much movement and realistic detail in this stitched piece. It's, it's exquisite. So what are we getting in the kit then, Jen? In the kit, you get everything you need to work this project. So you've got two pieces of fabric. You've got the screen printed fabric. Yeah. You've got a piece of calico behind it because that adds the stability while you're doing all your stitching. So you stitch through both layers. You've got a card of needles and I think you've got 29 different threads, but that's off the top of my head. I could be wrong on my numbers. It's 28 um, we've got on the counter here, 28. Yeah. So you weren't too far wrong. <laughs> There are so many numbers in my head. Um, so some of them you will use a lot in the kit. Some of them you may only use for a few stitches here and there. I really like to focus on getting all of the details in my stitch. So if that means that I'm only putting in half a dozen stitches of one colour in over the entire piece, but it helps the finished look of the piece, then I do that. And it's beautiful silk thread. Is this important in your embroidery, um, Jen? I tend to go for, those are all DMC. I think you've got a few anchor in that kit as well. So I use stranded cotton most of the time because it's the most accessible thing for students to use. It's also quite hardy. If we went for silk, it can be a little nice. bit temperamental. Nice. So I tend to go. So it's for, for the cotton there, forgive me. Um, beautiful. And I've got to c congratulate you on your instructions because again, I always like to look at someone's instructions to see how accessible the information actually is. And uh, you, I mean, there's so many different stitches in here. Um, so, so many beautiful stitches I'd not heard of in terms of the projects. I was, I was looking at them all down the counter here. Um, I know, Jen, you've got your, your name there. Um, so we've got the colour drawing, the larger main leaf. You go into great detail about how to, you know, create using the different threads, which are all numbered there. So we know which one to access. Um, how to sort of get that crinkled feel takes you through step by step loads of color really simple instructions accessible instructions that guide you through the whole process from start to finish add in the veins and the stem i mean this one is less about the the, the stitches it's about that silk shading isn't it um so we'll come to some of the other stitches in in the other projects there that i noticed that i hadn't recognized before I should mention as well that we haven't got the embroidery hoop in the kit because I suppose it's up to us, Jen, how we want to present this, isn't it? We've got embroidery hoops on the show, but you might want to put this on a, on a larger project or applique it to something else. Yeah, is that right? Oh, yeah, you can use it in any way you like. I've popped it in a hoop. Usually I try and mount my finished pieces. So the other pieces along the table you've got on finished bits of card. But I haven't had time to do that for the two new projects. So that's why they're in hoops. Um, so you can display them however you like. I usually aim to go for a frame because it's the easiest thing for me in my studio. 
but they're very hardy most of the time. Beautiful. And, and in terms of longevity of project, I mean, I realise you're not going to be sitting at this and doing it from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. How long was something, you know, as a project? Because I noticed it's, it's intermediate level, which I, I love this because you've got this on all your projects. So I know where I'm at in terms of starting as a beginner. But how long would a project like this take you to do, Jen? I think this project took me about 60 hours, so I'm usually quite quick, but for kits like this, I also film the project, so it takes me a little bit longer. So this kit also comes with videos that you can access to follow how to do it. So that adds a little bit of time onto me. I would say this is probably going to be a sort of 80 hour project. It would, it would, it would warrant extra hours going in, let's put it that way, but it doesn't need to take that long. Fantastic. Uh, that's really good to know about the video as well, so we can access. Uh, we've also got, you know, you've got the printed instructions, you've got the fabric, as you said, pre-printed, you've got the needles, the stranded cottons, and obviously ample generous amount of those 28 threads there. All you need is a hoop if you want to mount it like that. Um, well, obviously, it helps with the embroidery as well. And a pair of scissors. That's for an intermediate, you know, 60 to 80 hours there, 983261, brand new today. I'm going to take the book with me, Jen. I love the book and I love this putty cat. Um, we can split that on two flexible payments as well of £37.50 as well. So spread the cost over February March, but something really to get your teeth into. Now, this feather shading kit is wow. Tell me about the feather kit here, Jen. The feather kit is probably a bit more accessible for people getting started because we haven't got as much angle creeping through it. So it's a far straighter stitching process. Uh, so when I get demonstrating, that's the one I've got set up for us. Um, I can't remember at all how many threads this one's got, um, but it's DMC. <laughs> 23 of them, 23. <laughs> I'm really good with my numbers. Um, and I think these are all DMC again. So you've also got the pre-printed fabric, the calico, the needle card, and it's another one that comes with a set of videos to watch. And we've got this lovely metallic thread in there as well. Why do we need the different size needles, Jen? Pardon? Why do we need the different size needles? It's They should all be small. It's just a question of how far I've poked them into the... Oh, uh, I see. Part. So they're all the same size. But you've, have you given us ample for in case anything happens? Or I'm going to ask the daft questions. I work with several needles at once. So this should keep you going through the project. So if you like to work with one, you've got... If you like to work with several, I've given you several. I see. So if you've threaded up, you've got them to hand there. I see. I understand now. Fantastic. And there is the, the, the printed one, as Jen said, in terms of your outline, your guideline. And then you've got the calico there as well. We've got hoops if you need to f fix that, obviously, on the website. But then again, you can, um, you know, mount it on a cushion or a, a larger piece, whatever your soft, you know, furnishing project is. Again, all the instructions. Jen is brilliant with us to instructions because, of course, you teach. You do workshops, don't you, Jen? I like my instructions to try and anticipate everything. I don't like it when you get a kit that just says, here are your threads, here's a pattern, go. Yeah. Because that help people learn. So I like to try and cover as much as possible. And there is the supporting video uh, for online as well. And uh, thank you. We've got uh, a, an email there as well if we've really lost the plot. So that's fantastic. We can just get in touch as well. We all comes in that lovely postage box as well. So if you are thinking of sending this to someone for a gift or a birthday coming up as well, or a gift to yourself, um, lovely and portable and easy to send there as well. Two flexible payments of £37.50. I think the shading on that feather is stunning. I mean, you really bring... These, these pieces to life, Jen, they're, they're amazing. 808113. Now, we're going to get on to things like bullion knots. I know, some of these stitches I, I just never heard of. Um, oh, do you know what? And I revised the Elysio. Is this the Elysio? The, the, this is the Mandala kit, but you've given them all names, haven't you? Where did the names come from, Jen? Um, when I do a set of kits, I like to give them all individual names, and usually I can't think of them myself, so I ask Facebook or Instagram people to <laughs> give me uh, because it's, it's easier. Um, and then people feel involved in the process. And these are all actually names of different winds. Oh, yes, Sirocco. Yes, of course. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's all just falling into place now. It's early, Jen. It's Saturday morning. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 
So our first yeah. one, and again, this is good because you've got on here. Now, this is good for a beginner, Jen. Is that right? Yes, these are really good introductory kits. So these are kits that I designed with the beginner in mind. So there's lots of repetition so you can consolidate what you're learning. There are only eight stitches in each design, but there are eight segments. So you work one segment with eight stitches and then move on to the next over and over and over. So it's, it's very simple. The stitches all form very graphic marks. So it's quite bold in its look, but there so really good mainstay stitches that are really helpful to, to learn if you're going to start doing more embroidery. Absolutely. We're, I'm very familiar with a French knot, but I'd not heard of a fishbone stitch. I'd not heard of a bullion ones. The seeding, I was fascinated. And what I love, I really love this, Jen, you, you, you've indicated on the imagery what bit it is I'm doing, but also obviously we have got our final image in there as well on this beautiful uh, postcard there that you've got included in the kits as well. So um, we, we just can't go wrong. So lots of new stitches for our embroiderers um, uh, uh, out there. Um, really, again, fabulous, fabulous instructions. We go from the bullion then, stem stitch, I do know. We've got our finishing details. I do have a question for you actually, Jen, as well, coming up. Um, and then the final piece, so fantastic instructions there. There we go, the Bayamo, the Ostro and the Sirocco. <gasps> you see, if I was ever in a pub quiz again, I'd know. Um, don't forget the book as well. I'm, I'm, ca I'm carrying it with me like a, like a, like a tomb. I'm not going to let go of it. It's fabulous. Uh, that's coming up as well. So this is our one option. So again, all what kind of these again? Just the cotton threads again, Jen. Yeah, DMC yeah. again. It's for the kits that I produce on a larger scale. I get cones of the thread. So I've just got them in bulk. So I wind them off. So you've got plenty of thread. It's all worked in a single strand out for six. You've got your pre-printed fabric. You should have your calico again. Yeah. Spare need and a few beads to embellish with. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. That material is gorgeous. Really is lovely. Um, you've mounted yours on card, which looks gorgeous. But again, that is up to you. £44.99, six. Now, they've all got the different ones. So I'll just show you. That was the Alessio. Uh, is this the Be Beamo? Beamo? Have I pronounced that right, Jen? Beamo? Uh, I probably pronounce oh, Beamo is how I pronounce it. Beamo. Again, look at those different shapes. I and mean, you can see the beading there. And again, we've got our bullion knots in there. Um, and again, I'm just looking through the kind of stem stitch, some of the familiar ones, some new ones there as well that perhaps you don't know, or I certainly didn't, like the fish bone. And we've got the seeding there again. Again, we've got that two flexi by payments for you to so split over February and March. Beautiful. So let's move along to what's... This is yours. Ostro, the Ostro. Oh. We're learning about our wins today. Is any of the Sirocco I know? It's terrible, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, the Ostro, here we go. I mean, absolutely beautiful. They're all stunning. Do you have a favourite, Jen? I try not to have a favourite. Uh, I prefer some kind of combinations to others. Um, Sirocco is the only time I've reused a, an exact set of colours in a second kit. Oh. So I. I do like those colours, that colour kind of combination of the pink and the orange together I enjoy, but I try not to have actual favourites. Oh, that was very diplomatically put like a politician there, Jen. Uh, £44.99 and again on two flexi by payments. And our Sirocco is uh, our next option. Yes, I, I've got to say, this is very eye-catching. It's the swirly-whirliness of it. Look at these. I can see this being a favourite, Jen. I know, you, I know you haven't got one, but I can see this. Oh. Look at that. The seed work is beautiful, isn't it? £44.99. But again, two flexi buy payments of £22.50, six Absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. And again, everything you need in the kit, the beads, the extra needles there. You've got your calico and obviously your printed image there and your cotton threads. Yeah. Now, what is stump work, Jen? <laughs> What's stump, stump work? work. It's a very historical technique. Um, it was around in the 1600s, and it's the art of three-dimensional embroidery. So it's embroidery that stands free from the background fabric. I so see. often it was historical figures, so people. But it's you can wire the edges, they're movable, they're independent. So, yeah, stunt work is fun. Your book is fabulous. You see, this is where I was getting all the inside info on our gen this morning. Um, but I've got to say, once this is gone... It has gone, so please don't miss out. 20% already gone, so we have a lovely foreword. Elizabeth speaking very highly of you there, Jen. I had a read. 
speaking very highly oh, of yeah. you. And then we've, we've got an introduction to how you started and obviously going to obviously the, the, the Royal School of Needlework there as well. Uh, your training, how you then got on to get your diploma and then your teaching. Um, just amazing. Lovely photo of you there. And then we come into, I mean, you have actually, the, the, the Duchess, sorry, the, um, oh, who's, who's, who's dress was it again? Let me see. Cambridge. Yeah. The Duchess of Cambridge's wedding dress. You did embroidery on it and the shoes. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> my yeah, there was I think, is it nine or 10 years this year? Um, but there was a team of us who worked, uh, the wedding dresses. <laughs> wow. And you can see why. I mean, just look. I mean, I'm not saying this is on the wedding dress, but this is uh, the goal work there. Isn't that beautiful? And am I right in thinking you've got your putty cats in here? Yes, the three cats are my cats. This one here. <laughs> we're going to come to him. He's at the back. He's fabulous. But I just want to look at this one sleeping, the expression on their face. You can literally. They, were quite... they, they have not come in, but they were quite keen to try and join. Uh... <laughs> They do, though, Jen. I mean, we were trying to do some schoolwork yesterday, myself and my daughter, and who comes plodding along, walking across the laptop? The cat. They just, they just, they just want that attention, don't they? Yeah. Oh, look. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, amazing. And then the birds. I mean, look at that. Stunning, a... Jen. You are absolutely phenomenally ta talented. I mean... I just, uh, I'm amazed. It's, it, it is like looking at oil paintings. It's so, I can't believe the breadth and depth of detail you can create from embroidery. I really can't. It's, it's quite exquisite. Really beautiful. Uh, fabulous book. I recommend highly. £14.99. 30% gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. We have begged. We have begged Jen for more, but she says that's it. She, it's been published. Now, Jen. I'm not your agent or anything, but are you working on book two? Is this why we're moving on from this? Um, that one was self-published to go with an exhibition. I have just had another book published, um, which we were hoping to bring today, oh. but there's been hold up in my supply chain. So at some point it will be appearing. Um, oh, that's <laughs> good to hear. Third at some point. I do enjoy writing. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. So really this was from, so once we got the stocks gone, that's it. You know, the that's poor it. woman, you, you've had to squirrel away your own copy and that's about all we left you with, isn't it? 105836, <laughs> please don't miss out and hopefully next time we'll see Jen's new book as well. But that is well worth the 14.99. So Jen, what are we going to look at first this morning? Because we've only got this hour with you. Oh, sorry, we're letting Jen get set. So there's my enthusiasm to see Jen in, in action. Um, so we'll find out. I think we're doing some feathers as well, but let's let's look at some stills, guide you to the website as well for the embroidery hoops as well. Uh, but we've got the book here, so please don't miss out. Now you get four of the non-slip embroidery hoops, so this will help you not necessarily for uh, display mounting, because we have got those as well, but just for the actual embroidery itself. We've got the four different sizes there. Super duper and easy to work with, non-slip, 207657. So great for attaching that printed material and the calico. And then we've also got the seat frame, because you might want to frame. If you do 60, 80 hours on that stunning leaf, you know, you might um, eventually want to, to frame it as well, because we've got those on the show. But this is a seat frame for working with. So um, just a different style, different angle, pop uh, between the legs, as it were, which is why it's called the seat frame. 606286. We've got a magnifier as well. I do like these when they are framed in the wood as well, isn't it? Now, this is the hands-free magnifier, so... Um, Obviously, we're not having to, you know, pick it up while we're trying to sew. 17 And there is a gift set I want to mention as well. It's a sewing gift set. So you've got embroidery scissors, your tape measure, your thimble, and your thread cutter there for 19 99 And we do have on there some lovely display hoops as well. They come in two sizes, I seem to remember. So have a little look on the website. I think we're going to start with the feather. I'm not sure. We'll check with Jen, but I know... Um, this will be one Jen will hopefully be demonstrating for us. Uh, and if we look closely, I mean, actually, if I'm, I'm just going to turn this around because on the back it does say that um, additional feathers are available on the website for inspiration. But this is the feather, said feather, that gave Jen the inspiration for this amazing silk shading. And you've got that blending filament in there. She knows she's, she's got all the details about, you know, if, you, if your thread's a bit slippery and it tends to slip from your needle, the support there on the videos online. 
and there's the alternating there of the orange bands and the stripes. All the DMC um, threads there are numbered. Um, yeah, as she said, she's tried to think of everything that you could possibly need in terms of an answer there. And this would be more of an intermediate uh, because you've got, tw it was 23 of the skeins there, wasn't it? Was it 23? Yeah. Uh, of the embroidery threads there. £74.99, 801-113. Two flexi by bends of £37.50. I believe we're all good now to go to Jen's home studio. Okay, I thought we'd have a look at the feather. So I've just organised myself a little. I'm just trying to make sure that's... I'm not good at positioning this. I had it there. There we go, comedy value for the morning. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're there. <laughs> okay, so I thought we'd have a go at the feather. So I thought, first off, if I cut a length of thread, so I've just pulled out about a foot, sort of 30 odd centimetres of stranded cotton, and you just want to take out an individual thread there we go. And that's what we're going to thread up. So is that is is that sort of just the length that they are, 30 centimetres? We go with that when you pull it out of the, the skein. Short length, because if you go too long, your thread's going to get fluffy. And if your thread gets fluffy, it won't look nice when you're finished. So if you can work with a shorter length, you'll get a better finished result. So to cast on, tie a knot in the end and then take that knot through the front of the work. And then we do two or three little back stitches onto the fabric. So I'm just working onto calico for this, not the pink. I see. Just so it's easier for you guys to see. So once you've done sort of two or three little back stitches, you should be able to tug on your knot and it shouldn't move. If it doesn't move, you can snip it straight off. So that is ready to go. We're going to bring up our needle inside the shape. So we're going to try and work on a nice fluffy edge for the top. And we're going to go outside of the line. Okay, so the line is there as a guide, but the edge we want to see is quite a broken fluffy edge. So if we stopped on the line each and every time, we'd end up with a really sharp, hard line which won't give us the impression we want. So try and exaggerate that little bit on the edges. And I also tend, when I'm doing a technique like this, I tend to only do three or four stitches in one colour at a time. And then I switch to the next, because you've always got that risk of stitching too much in one colour and it ends up looking quite blocky. So. I'm always starting and stopping. I'm always adding new threads in. So I'm just starting up another one now. Just so that you don't get caught into that trap of constantly stitching in one colour. So let's trim off that knot. Now, Jen, I'm just going to tell everybody at home, I'm being quiet because I, 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 I'm aware that... If I speak close to when you're speaking, it interrupts your transmission. So please don't think I'm not listening. But I'm just going to tell everybody <laughs> the um, book is limited now. Please don't miss out. And there's some juicy bits in here about uh, you did a red carpet uh, Oscar dress. Uh, you, you know, you worked on a dress for the Oscars when the red carpet green dress scheme visited the studio. Tell me more about that, Jen. Um, that was another Royal School project. So I can't remember what year that was. Um, I think Naomi Harris wore the dress. Um, it was all in gold work. It was a very, very pretty dress. So I think Vivian Westwood did the construction. But we're now relying on my memory, which is not necessarily the greatest thing. <laughs> fabulous. I know exactly. Uh, yeah, fabulous actress. So, so just so keep now it you on. You, you just, uh, you've gone in with a different colour there, you say, Jen. Other colour, so I'm just putting some purple in. So the, the joy of this kit is a lot of the threads are very similar in tone, 
which means they blend together seamlessly. So it's very, very forgiving while you're stitching it. So if you're not liking how one color looks, you can switch it up to another color mm -hmm. and it doesn't look out of place. And I just don't want it to end up with one big splodge of color up at the tip. And then when I want to start growing down towards the base of the feather, I come out of a stitch and turn and head in the opposite direction. And that gives me that nice smooth blending as I go. Now, Jen, I know I'm not a commission, but we need to get that other new book over here soon because now the book is now gone in terms of what was remaining. So <laughs> you need to make sure you check out your baskets if you've got the Jen Goodwin beautiful embroiderer book there. And uh, we'll, we'll hound poor Jen the next time she comes on to bring us the new book, but she's had a problem with, a, with, with the supply chain. So it's not, it's not her fault, yeah. and, uh, just, just, just to highlight that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, very popular, Jen, very popular. Excellent. Right. So I'm now starting my fourth thread, so you can see how quickly we can start building up colour. Right, I'm going to pop a little bit more up at the tip. What I will do in a minute is start adding in a little bit of the bright orange, because that's just a fun element to add in too. So you can start adding in those orange flashes earlier than you would think. If you have parked your thread to one side and you need to pull it back through, just go back down the same hole and it should come out quite easily. That's a handy trick. And you're alterna alternating the length of those stitches there as well, Jen. Making sure they're all different lengths. Yeah. So some technique is known as long and short. If you fall into a habit of working a very long and a very short, you'll end up with a very regimented look when you're finished. So I tend to think of it more as an irregular satin stitch. So the, the length varies back and forth, um, just depending on the size of the space I'm working in, how big the stitches are accompanying it. And I just try and keep them fairly irregular because it gives me more flexibility when I'm shading later on if I've got a different length of stitch to work into or out of. So it just helps the process if you make sure that your stitches vary in size. Nothing too short. I was always taught long and longer. So did you just do those, fi why did you just do those little three fixing stitches? Is that because you just um, that ended that one? On red. No, that was me casting on another one. I've now got five on the go and I'm about to throw in a stick. <laughs> I see. I couldn't quite catch up. I'm thinking, has she just finished them? Now she's cutting off and going, and she's. I know the expression no, isn't no. casting off, but I thought I can't think of anything else to say. But there, with, with, with she's no, just. I cut... tend to go with casting off because oh. people they understand it as a term. Right. So I, it's the one I tend to use with people. Oh, okay. Cute. So yeah, it's just it's a very simple casting on process. The theory being is if you're in a studio situation, and if you're working with several other people on a frame. You can't ask everyone else to stop working so you can cast on or off. You need to be able to cast on and off on the surface without disrupting others. So if you're sharing frame with three other people, say, and it takes you a nominal five minutes to cast on, that's actually 20 minutes of studio time lost. So it's just done for practicality and speed. You can cast on everything and off everything on the surface of the work. Fab, I can see why you're giving us those extra needles now. Yeah, I do. I do tend to work with more than most. So I, you don't need to work with this many. It's just something that speeds my process up ever so slightly. What's the most unusual piece you've done? Because you've done all sorts, Jen. You've done altar pieces. Um, you've done, in, in, you know, in terms of projects, you mentioned you've done some random projects when you've been called in to offer a pair of hands. What's the most unusual you've done, Jen? The strangest that's come through my studio is uh, gold work that went into a, a car that's, um, yeah, a custom car. Very odd. It was known as tetanus, and that's actually what the gold work said. It was very, very peculiar, but the chat was very happy. <laughs> well, you can't say fairer than that, Jen. Amazing to have... <laughs> Gold work embroidery. I mean, this is this is Jen's gold work in the oh, that's a coronation gold work. 
um, just feel exquisite that to have that in your car. Oh, yeah, very fancy. It was Oh, but yeah, it was all gold. It had some green shading through it. It was it was a very interesting project. Um, I've got some photos floating around somewhere of it in this very vintage 1938 car from America. I think it was a very, very rare vintage one. Wow. Yeah, I get some random jobs. But it's fabulous. <laughs> Would you say that um, embroidery is having a bit of a, a resurgence? Because often, and you said this yourself, Jen, often it's perceived as something old fashioned, isn't it? It is. It is seen as an old fashioned um, pastime, which I think is a shame. I would say I've never seen interest drop for embroidery, but it's definitely come to the forefront a bit more in the last few years, especially during lockdown. People have really been coming back to embroidery because they've been looking for hobbies. So I think it's become more visible. I think it's always been there. I think it's more visible now. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun one for people to start discovering. I'm pleased people are starting to discover it again. Absolutely, it is assumed yeah. that all all that little bit older and we're <laughs> um, old fashioned. And I try and make sure that everything I produce has that interesting feel to it. I don't ever want chocolate box to appear in my range ever. <laughs> There's definitely no chance of that looking by the samples here in your book and what have you, Jen. Have you got um, sort of a face cloth site and Twittery and Instagram and all that business where we can find you? I do. Those. Um, I'm just down as Jane Goodwin Embroidery. It's nice and easy. It's my name. Um, so I've got all of those. I tend to use Instagram the most and tends to have a smattering of cat pictures. So if the cats do appeal, um, they do crop up a fair amount. Um, but it is primarily pretty embroidery and things that I'm working on or new ideas. So it's a good way of keeping up with what's coming in the future. So I've just started putting a palette together for a new silk shading kit that I just put a hint up last night in my stories. So it's a nice purpley mix coming next. So I've got to start putting those threads together, maybe this afternoon for fun. And how's the Chihuahua doing? Uh, she's, she's, she's currently been banished so that there is no noise, but yeah, she's good. <laughs> <laughs> So that you can really see that starting to come together quite quickly, can't you? The colours building, like you said. It does. It's a technique that actually, when you're working on the straight, it can grow really quite quickly. So this one is, this is a faster builder than the leaf. It's more forgiving on its colours. The angles are far straighter. So this is, this is a better one if you've not tried this technique before. The leaf is that little bit more ambitious because there's more movement through it. Mm. We need to make our stitches shorter so that we can actually fit all of those stitches in to turn a corner. So it's got a little bit more complexity, but it's not quite hitting the advanced levels yet. So I would still say it's an inter. Right. Fantastic. And we've got this beautiful feather kit on two flexi by payments as well on the screen, 808113. A one-off payment of $74.99. Now, Jen's working on the Calico, but, of course, you do get the lovely digital printed. Um, it's like a soft pink, peach pink um, image. Jen, I'm just going to uh, have a, ca a catch-up. So um, let's have a look at the uh, leaf shading, which, again, this is the one Jen was just referring to. So a, a little bit more skill is needed. Um, so in terms of a, a, an intermediate... Um, and because of the shading, because of the smaller stitches there, I mean, look at that curl, that silk shade, it's really beautiful. I mean, it's so lifelike, it's quite astonishing, isn't it? And, you know, we've got 28 skeins there of the cotton embroidery thread there. Um, so ample. I mean, there'll be loads left over. But what Jen does like to do is concentrate on this colour so we have really complete that infinite shading i mean it's quite astonishing but boy oh boy does it bring the detail to that leaf to life because it does look like a stunning oil painting you're you're looking at the sewing stitches to to, to almost appreciate like with a brush stroke in an oil painting in an art gallery it's, it's stunning two flexi by pims 37 pounds 50 nine eight three two six one Everything is in a beautiful presentation box. Don't forget there's access to online videos as well. 
Um, and uh, obviously Jen herself with her, her Instagram and her Facebook, just Jen Goodwin embroidery there. So yeah, two flexi by pens for £37.59832619. Now the mandalas are all named after the winds. And uh, yeah, we've got our choices here. So our first one is the Elysio in the beautiful reds and the yellows there. You get all your threads, you get the extra needles, you get a few embroidery beads in there as well, the calico. And then it's, it's actually lovely, isn't it, to see that on the black background. We don't tend to see that on the darker material, do we? But then again, it's up to you how you mount that really pops so we've got all sorts of different bullion knots in there and um, you'll recognize the stem stitch and french knots but you've got fishbone stitches in there great great instructions as well jen likes to think of everything so that you don't feel abandoned you've got it in a visual form there in the book to read but you've also got auditory and visual as well with the videos so some new stitches in there that perhaps that you're not aware of or are aware of and some familiars as well that i just recognized from obviously being on the embroidery shows, um, but it's all there in full colour instructions and all comes in a lovely presentation box. So easy to post to someone for who's, who's, who's needs a new, you know, who's got a bit of time on their hands and, and needs a new project. Two flexi by payments of £22.50, six and four, two, two, six. Uh, the Bayamo now, yes. And you always get your, which I love, because you could actually send that to someone, a postcard there of the full colour completed image there. The Bayamo in those blues and greens, absolutely stunning. So you've got that guide, but Jen's very careful to also show you, if you look, exactly which stitch you're doing and where it, where it fits into the pattern so that you don't lose your way. And then there's big blown up pictures there as well. And it's, it's, the instructions are brilliant. I, I, I always go straight for those and have a good read to make sure it's accessible. Now, these are great for beginners. Everything's in the kit there, 674226 for the Bayamo. So I suppose really um, about your, you know, your colour palette, really. If you're into your purples and your lilacs and your blues, then the Ostro. Yeah, swirling whirly gig of beautiful brilliance there. Um, re that white really pops, doesn't it, against those uh, lilacs and purple blues there. Two flexi by pens there, £22.50 again, 674226. And the Sirocco. I'm, I'm really quite drawn to the Sirocco. I know you're not supposed to have favourites, because my favourites would normally be blues and greens, but... There's something about this, this swirling pattern, the movement within that Sirocco that I do like that mandala. Isn't that beautiful? They're all beautiful, but yeah, I do like that. Uh, 674226. I think, I think that's my favourite. I oh, know I'm not supposed to have favourites, but I think it is. I love the seeding. There's a little dotty, the seeding. Um, so that's... Oh, that's all the mandalas there. So don't forget, we've got the leaf and we've got the feather. But I believe we're going to go back to Jen now and see a, a mandala, a mandala demonstration. Oh, yeah. Right. So I'm just going to cast on my red. With these kits, whereas we could cast on anywhere in the feather or on the leaf, we've got to make sure we always cast on on an outline in this design because we don't want any spots appearing where there shouldn't be spots. So always on an outline. I'm just going to run through a few of these stitches. So I thought we'd go with running stitch first, which is just a really, really lovely, simple dashed line. So if you're new to stitching and you're not sure how to think of them, think of these mark making stitches in the form that they actually take. So running stitch is just a big dashed line. So stitch two to three mil, space two to three mil always equidistant and we just work it in a row so it just forms it just forms pattern for us so it gives you extra movement because you're following the growth lines of the design and we just pop in a few rows so the colors are suggested in the kit you can play with them you can alter where you put the different colors all I would suggest is try and do it evenly across the design. So don't do one segment in one colorway and then alter it. Always try and keep it consistent because otherwise you'll lose that effect when you get to the end of all that movement. So again, this is a really, really quick build, this stitch it goes in. And that's, this one is the Alicia that Jen's got and yeah. uh, the running stitch, isn't it, we're doing? It's running stitch. So I just thought we'd pop in two or three rows of this and then we'd have a look at some seeding. Oh, I like the seeding, Jen. I'm glad you said that. Okay, I promise you seeding next. <laughs> so, as I say, running stitch gives you a lot of shape. 
So you can see that that's starting to build in dimension to the design already. And that's just two rows. And just stop stitching when you run out of room. So I'm going to stick a small one here and then stop. And I'm going to be really wicked and carry this thread over to here where we've got some seeding. So I wouldn't usually carry my thread across the back, but I'm doing it for quickness. So seeding, if we think of running stitch in terms of a dashed line, think of seeding in terms of tiny spots. You're bringing your needle up where you want your seed to start. You're dropping it back down where you want it to end. And all I'm doing is changing the angle of the stitch as I go so that we don't end up with a very regimented look. And it's just spots. So again, it's a really nice quick build. You can shade it. You can add more than one color into your seeding. You can make it denser. You can make it dense at one end and open it out at the other end for extra dimension. It's Ooh. a really, really flexible stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to space it a little bit in the middle, and then I'm going to bring in a different color and show you how to shade through. So I'm going to switch over to a yellow. So you can see how much room I've left in that midsection. I'm going to park that on an outline. I'm going to grab a yellow. Again, casting on on that edge. When you do want to cast off, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Two or three little back stitches on an outline and just snip the thread off when it's secure. Because all of these outlines are being covered later on with stem stitch. So they don't get seen. They're just there to secure your thread. Bring that up there a second. Nothing says you need to take your knot off straight away. They just really irritate me. So you can <laughs> leave your knots a little bit later in. It's just they drive me mad. So they always come straight off on my frames because I just don't want to see them there. So when I'm starting to shade, I'm just starting to add in a few extra stitches in a different color. So I would suggest the shading in this is done with two different shades of red. But for ease of you seeing it, I'm going with a red and a yellow. So you can see the differentiation of where they go. And they're just little spots. And again, you can see how quickly and how impactful it can be to put these stitches in. I would suggest if you're doing this design, you do all of your running stitch first. So into every segment and then all of your seeding. And I would work it through in that direction. However, if you find that that gets tedious, you can work it as a segment completely and then move on to your next segment mm. and the next. So that gives you more of a feeling of achievement because you can actually see it developing faster. Yes, indeed. It's like little pieces of a jigsaw, isn't it? And I suppose it just it just varies up your, um, your stitching so you, you don't get... It gives you, know. you more... In Gives you more what, Do you yeah? fancy some bullion? It gives you some more impact and more interest as you go. Yeah. Did you mention you're going to do a bullion what? knot? I did. I was saying, did you fancy a bullion knot? I do fancy a bullion knot because I don't know what it is. I was really hoping for okay. a bullion knot. I will give you a bullion knot. This is probably the trickiest element that I've put into this kit. So it's, it's a love-hate stitch for people. I used to have a real dislike of them but I've grown to love them they are quite useful little things right almost there so this is one I will probably need two hands for so needle up where you want your bullion not to start back down where you want it to end leave a loop of thread on the surface Okay, hold on to that thread. Bring your needle back up next door to where you started, so not through the same hole. If you come up through the same hole, the chance of you piercing this thread is quite high. And if you pierce the thread, there is no rescuing your bullion knot. You've got to start again. And then you're going to wind. I tend to wind my needle from below 
because that's years of habit, but we're going to wind our thread onto the needle. Okay, it doesn't matter which direction you go. And I always roll my needle over so I can see if I've got enough loops or not. So I don't count my loops. I, I measure them by eye. I tend to like an extra couple of loops on there that I don't need because I prefer a chunky bullion knot to a skinny one. And then once I think I'm ready and I've got enough loops, you actually want to loosen the loops off. So I tend to pinch and roll. But so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to try and roll it with one hand. And that loosens all those loops up. And that makes it easier for you to bring that needle through. So all those loops are now on there. And then with your needle, tug on the core thread while holding the loops in place. And you've got a little bullion. <laughs> Fabulous. So they are fun, but they are one that might need a little bit of practice. If you find that you don't get on with bullions, an extra couple of, you know, bold running stitches there just to form the lines will give you that same look as the bullion. But they are worth mastering. They're an incredibly flexible stitch to use. It's a useful one to have in your stitch bank. But always remember to leave your needle in the fabric. It's a lot easier to control your bullion knot if you stay in that fabric. And then always measure by eye. So, Jen, I'm just going to have a quick recap again. Is there anything else that you want to get ready to show us, probably with the last five uh, remaining minutes, that you want to show us what, after my recap? I'll let you have a little um, think. Fishbone. Oh, yes, I love a fishbone. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. I will prefer a fish, fishbone. Right, well, we let can you get that. us set up, and then we'll come back to Jen for the fishbone stitch. It's in there in the mandalas. So, oh, she did all the ones I wanted to see this morning. This is fantastic. Uh, hopefully, they're the ones you want to see as well. So these are the four mandalas named after the, the winds there, the Sirocco. You've got the Alisio that uh, Jen was working on, the Bayamo. And we've got the Ostro in the lilacs and the purples, and the Sirocco at the end, £44.99, or two flexi by bims of £22.50, £674.226. Got some seven-day savers for you, which are going to change tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So don't forget to check those out on the web. We've got some lovely assorted card there, mixed media panel collection. We've got the uh, book collection by Jemima Schlee. And then we've also got the Millwood Fold Folding Craft Storage Basket as well. Great if you're looking to tidy up things in your craft room there. We've got some, um, oh, some lovely uh, Ada Fat Quarters. Yeah, gorgeous white and off-white. So very useful, useful to have in your stash. Uh, I went all Sean Connery on you there, didn't I? I went very useful to have in your stash. £17.96 there for the Jemima Schlee. That includes the banana, the seat, the tea towel, and the tin in terms of projects. So, yeah, been very popular, that one. Yeah, I think because they're very accessible projects, aren't they? And we've all got an old seat and we perhaps want to upholster or change up or um, reupholster. Yeah. Not too long, though, before those seven-day savers will change tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So well worth a look because sometimes we forget that they're there and bobbing along as the week goes by. Right, let's go back to Jen so that we can take advantage of that fishbone stitch. So, fishbone stitch. I've just cast on on the edge and I've come up in this area. In the design, this is actually done in yellow, but I'm going with red because it's a bit bolder on the screen for you. So, what we want to do is we want to put a straight stitch down into that tip there. And then we're going to come up on one side. So this is a glorified cross stitch, so it's... it's it needs some alternation. So we're going to do a diagonal over to here. And then a straight stitch across the back. And then I'm going to diagonal over to this side. So this stitch always looks a little bit odd as you get going. It takes a while for it to build. But once you get started, we start to see the pattern developing. So crisscross to that side, back up. So I think the next one you see, you'll start to see more of that pattern. So at this point, a lot of people panic because they can't see the pattern. Don't fret. It is just the nature of this stitch. So there is an imaginary straight line down that middle that I'm always bringing that needle up of. So in theory, there's a line down this mid here. And they just crisscross back and forth with little straight stitches across the back. 
and they just start to build that little cross hatching. So it looks cross hatched at the end. This is a very, very quick build for a stitch. I'm a big fan of fishbone. Back over to this side. There does come a point where you hit your outline and you think you can't get any more in. So at that point, what we want to do is to just pop in a few fake stitches. So on the side, that just follow that diagonal. And again on that side, so it looks like it's still there. And that is fishbone. So it's a very quick, very, it's a very quick build. I think it's it's a beautiful texture, but it is one that the mechanics, you've always got to remember to flip back and forth as you're stitching it. So I think I can squeeze a little bit more in here. So Gorgeous. Straight. I can see it here on your uh, Alessio because it's in yellow. Um, it's really very effective there. I, I do love this black background that you've chosen in the kits. It is black. Bit of a squash trying to get it in this side. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're down to the last two minutes, we, would you believe, no. Jen? Are we really? We are. It's flown by, hasn't it? It has. I did not realise we'd been here this long. <laughs> Well, you've shown us all the you've shown us four different stitches that we get in the kits. We've looked at the feather project. I know we didn't get to the leaf one, but it was a similar. Um, it was obviously shorter stitches than we had in the feather. Oh. Feather. Yeah. Was there something you wanted to say there, Jen? No, I was saying it's all a similar principle: silk shading, leaf, and the feather. It's they're just in different layouts. Lovely. Do you know when you're back with us again, Jen? No, I don't. <laughs> well, I, I am hoping no, I'm soon. Sure, yeah. I, I, I want you to bring that new book with you when the suppliers finally sort themselves out. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will get it there. It will. That's the aim. Well, listen, I want to say a massive thank you, Jen. Thank you for joining us this morning. And I hope that you have a great, uh, you know, the rest of your weekend and sorting out your threads for the new project later on. Thank you very much. Lovely. And I hope we see you soon. You take care, Jen. Take care. Ah, oh, the lovely Jen Goodwin there. Fabulous. Now, um, let's go to the website and recap on all of those beautiful projects. Don't forget, you've got your non-slip embroidery hoops there, as well as the hemline sewing gift set there. Uh, we've also got the other embroidery seat frame there as well, and your magnifier. But all of Jen's embroidery kits are on there. The pink feather shading kit, the lovely leaf, and all of those beautiful mandala kits for the beginner. Wasn't that stunning? Oh, I could watch her all day. It's fascinating. So sorry the book sold out. Well done if you got that. So, uh, But as you can see, we were nag, nag, nagging Jen to bring us the new one when she's with us again. It's the supply chain, isn't it? It's the story of our lives at the moment, isn't it? So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you love embroidery, we've got more coming up tonight as well, haven't we? And uh, this shading kit on the leaf one, there we've got two flexi by payments of £37.50. More for the intermediate uh, embroiderer there, 983261. And that was the one Jen said probably took to about 60 to 80 hours. Oh, absolutely stunning. Her work is absolutely beautiful, as I'm sure so will be yours. Shall we have a recap and see what's coming up today? I think we should. Yeah, we've got the delectable hazel now on our Pink Frog Crafts, which works perfectly for cardstock for our Kleiner Palmer One Day Special dies. And then we'll join Sentimentally Yours and our Phil Martin. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM create some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items.
So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. And that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn. There's always something that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Pachanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Well, so good morning. We have got pink frog crafts and we have got beautiful white super smooth cards and different configurations and amazing true black cards. Look at the richness of that black, the depth of the intensity of the black card. So all those different techniques that you can uh, do them onto the black card. Well, we are not alone. You will be happy to know that we have got Hazel back here in the building. Hello, Hazel. Hi. Paula, are you okay? Very well, and you? I'm good. I'm excited. Ex you are. <laughs> you are. And of course, one of the things that you are really excited is about showing us what yep. you did at 7 a.m. Yes. Which Indeed. Is, look at so that. So this was the finished piece, and I've managed to stick all of the bits down in there. But what you've got is you've got your black card for your construction. I've just added a little bit of heat embossing from our poppy script die. And then you've got gesso onto the background there with a little bit of um, gilding wax. Oh, but just uh, 
really effective and I must thank Anita for making me the flowers to save me time. Oh, thank you so much. But they're all made from our Britannia dyes um, multi-flowers and it just makes a gorgeous mixed media piece. It is indeed. Now let's just start out to talk about different bundles because of course what Pink Frog does is bring beautiful quality card in different configurations yeah. and I think for, as a crafter you want to have them all to be honest but you know you have to start sometime at one point right so we have got here different sizes in which we are going to start with the 15 by 30 this could be a perfect starting point wouldn't it it would be yeah because obviously you can just score that in half and it'll give you a 15 centimeter square card which is roughly six inches um, we give you an instruction sheet in there for 10 folds yeah. so whether that be a gate fold um, an inverted stepper, a side gatefold, they're all there to refer back to um, and get in the black and the white. If you like working with white cards, you've got it and you can accent with the black. If the other way around, that will work too. If Because you're getting the quantity that you're getting, you could chop it in half and have double the amount of mats, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It, you know, it's your choice what you do with it, but So I believe this is a folded 15 by 30, Absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. So you can see it here, just fold it in half, this would be the size yeah. of it, so it would fit on a 6 by 6, six, by six envelope. envelope, envelope. Yes. But yeah. of course, using uh, two of them, so you, well, one of them creating that easel of element, and then you can use half of another one mm -hmm. to create the cover yes. in here. Yes, it's it, like the technique on there, it's like mica powder, um, on top of a wow pad but then what Claire's done there for me she's put some clear embossing powder over the top absolutely. as well to sort of like encapsulate it yeah but some of the results you can get are absolutely, absolutely stunning and the, the fact is that you could use it as a Z fold as well so yeah. there are so many That's ways it. of using it and remember it comes an, uh, not a score so then you can then score it following the, ten inst uh, yeah. the instructions that you get in each pack 14 pounds and 99 pence you are getting 50 sheets of the super smooth which is 300 GSM and then you are getting three, uh, so 50 of of the true black which is 280 GSM so 50 sheets in total and the item number is 743857 is the item number now the end we are going to a little bit larger which is the 15 yep. by 42 again now, along the same route you're going to get your instructions to make 10 cards um, but as you the card that you've got there there's your Z fold but you've got that lovely panel on on the side there and and then what Claire's done there is she's used a, a bit of the super smooth just to mat and layer inside to put the sentiment in because okay. obviously it will show up better on the black when, when okay. you write but a so, gorgeous card absolutely so you can do something like this as well or just fold it down the middle and create a tenfold and yeah. this will fade on a c5 c5 envelope, envelope yeah. yeah and so it'll fit through all the postage at, at, at your normal costing yeah. rate yeah fabulous now if you want to go for this bundle you are getting 25 sheets of the white super smooth and 25 sheets of the true black uh, 771617 is your item number 1149 is your uh, your um, price now it makes a lot of sense to invest in different sizes because that makes crafting so much easier but also you could go maybe if you like a six by six cars or you like memory albums or a scrapbooking 12 by 12 uh, again we have got the configuration in which you could get in 25 sheets of, of each of the super smooth and a 25 of the true black now you use them also for frames uh, don't you 100% they're, they're, it's a really good backing sheet for your frame so like this one for instance I would have used the 12 by 12 on, on the reverse there um, but you can make little bags with them you could you explode in boxes 12 by 12 is a very popular size to use um, because you can make little memory books as well yeah. there's so much Absolutely. do you know what I mean and it, it's about having the right size to hand Absolutely. and that's what we're trying to do so that no matter what you want to make you can just reach and you're going to have no waste but you've got the freedom and that's Indeed. that's what it comes uh, down I, to you know this is one of those sizes that I like to always have card yeah. in because it's, yeah, I never know when I'm going to need that yeah. uh, 15 pounds and 49 pence is your price 034844 you always can cut it smaller but you not from smaller you cannot get no, no. All <laughs> yeah. uh, right. Uh, now we are going to head back to Hazel because we want to see the demonstrations as soon as possible but there are other items on the 
show. Of course they are. Now there is shop ahead. There is including that set of black, you know, the true black in different sizes that comes with Pillow of Delight. Now we are going to show you an image of that bundle because maybe you are like me that you like all the different sizes. So why not go for this one? In here you are getting 150 sheets uh, in total, different sizes of the true black, and then you are also getting Pillar of White with mm -hmm. that glorious and um, you know, gorgeous, beautiful, uh, kind of amazing pillar of light. Then you have got also 15 by 30, uh, it, you get 15 by 42, uh, the thing you are getting 20 by 40, uh, you are getting a 12 by 12 and the A3. Perfect. I got it. Yes. Right. You got it. Well done. Yes. <laughs> I was going to come in there and I thought, you know what? 